Sweet, sweet, sweet. Man, it was only the 16th movie of the MCU. The Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Homecoming. You know, I never thought Sony would give it, give this up. Like, not even like a joint venture, you know? No. I don't know. I mean, I guess it never hurts until you ask, huh? I guess they gotta work some kind of deal. I mean, like I didn't even look into details of what kind of a deal that they worked out between Sony and Disney, but it's it's gotta be obviously good for Sony for them to do this. Oh, I'm right? sure it's extremely good for Sony because I mean we remember when they almost broke up. You remember when uh, Sony almost decided we'll just take our Spider Man and go back home? Yeah. When Disney asked for a little bit more money, so yeah. apparently Sony must be getting. When Tons Disney asked for a little bit more money, I think I remember that, but I don't know. The I don't know details. if they asked for a little bit of money. They may ask for a uh, half. half. Yeah, I remember that. I'm like, so the, they're not getting half. Disney's not even getting half. So Disney has to do all the work, but they're not getting any money. See, I, I never understood what the deal was between these. I don't know what it is. I yeah, mean, I don't care what it is, as long as it's good. So I want to say right off the bat, right? This is probably the best Spider Man movie I've seen. Yes. Of the Tobey Maguire ones. And well, we're not counting uh, Far From Home, right? We're talk- counting what? We're not. We're counting up to this point. Uh, up to this point, yeah. Because yeah. we're not counting the, the, what we're about. To, we're going to see uh, Far From Home. Yeah, I, I, up to this point, like when I first saw it, right? This is. I can't believe they made this. Like this was. A, um, I can't believe I saw this as you know, after the yeah. theater because like yeah. they changed a lot of stuff that I never seen in Spider Man before, right? Like I never heard of Ned. But I. Uh, you never heard of Ned? No. Okay, Ned's a comic book character. Okay. Um, I guess the Liz whole issue is the, Liz is the only one I don't know from the comic. Liz, I don't know from the comic book, and like MJ is Michelle Jones. No. MJ is a bit different. MJ is Mary Jane. Yeah, but her name is Michelle Jones in this one. Okay, then she's Mary Jane. Jones. <laughs> well, the point I was trying to make is like. Because her name is Michelle, but people, her friends call her MJ, okay? Yeah, but so, in the comic book, her name is Mary Jane. Yeah, her, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, they so, changed so, her name okay, in a way. Well, so it is supposed to just be MJ and never Mary Jane ever? See, I, 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 I don't know. But then, like, if Sony would have done that, right, I would have been so mad. You see what I'm saying? Like, if Sony would have changed it, like, oh, we don't want to call this character Mary Jane anymore. We're just going to call her MJ, but then it doesn't stand for Mary Jane. Like, when they release what the name is, it's like, oh, yeah. my name is Michelle. Because, like, in this movie, they never reveal who that girl is, what her name is, until the very end. Yeah, yeah, because it's supposed to be a surprise. Yeah, it's a huge surprise. Yeah, and I well, like that's it. That's the thing. That's probably why they called the, the other girl Liz, because you're going, who's Liz? Who's yeah. Liz? Because anybody who read the comic book knows it's first, it's Gwen. Yes, it's Gwen, yep. Which they didn't start off that way in Sony, you know, remember it started off with Mary Jane, and then the next one had Amazing Spider-Man, had Gwen, but it's supposed to be Gwen, and then it's supposed to be Mary Jane. Yes. And it's you know what else character. that I noticed that it didn't bother me? That Flash Thompson is not a white boy. Oh, I don't know if his it's, last name is even Thompson in this movie. It's just Flash. It's, I'm going to go with It's just Flash, but yeah, he's still a jerk. So He's that's still a jerk, right? But he's not a, like a, a jock jerk. He's a nerd jock. Yes, he's a nerd jock. Is that a, such a thing? Did we just make there something is up? Na- it is now. It is now. <laughs> a nerd jock. I mean, he's somebody who should have been a jock, but he uh, somehow ended up in a nerd school. Yes. And nobody can relate to this guy. So, no. So, it for nerd jock. So, I want to say, um, I also want to bring up the point that, like, I think, the way that I look at this Spider-Man, right, it already kind of, like, opens up, like, like a little multiverse for me, in a way. Because, you know, with the different change of characters and things like that. Like, you know, Flash is a completely different person. And also, there's no Mary Jane involved. If there's no Gwen, there's no Mary Jane. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I, mean, I don't know. It doesn't really do anything. I mean, I love the movie. It's not It's not opening up anything for me. Because basically, when, when uh, Spider-Man appeared in uh, Civil War, mm-hmm. everything that was Sony Spider-Man went out the window for me. I just tossed it. Really? Yeah, I'm like... Well, um, to- Toby Maguire okay. and all that other stuff. Oh, see, at well, that point, that was too to see, early. I never went and saw Amazing Spider-Man with Garfield. Yeah, you don't. You don't enjoy. I, and I wasn't about. And I wasn't about to. I mean, after that came out, I was like, I'm done with. I was done with Spider-Man. I wouldn't waste my time watching the Andrew well, Garfield. I won't. But that's what I'm saying, though. When it came out, and I saw what I, I saw the trailer stuff, I was like, I was done with Spider-Man. Yes, because they're trying to 
the first one they're trying to do Green Goblin or go- Hop Goblin or something, right? Green Goblin or whatever Goblin. Oh, Hop Goblin? Oh, no, like, like, it was still Harry Osborn. No, was it Harry Osborn? Oh. Shoot. Well, if it's not, if Harry Osborn is Green Goblin. But yes. There is the Hop Goblin. Yeah, I can't remember which one it is. See, that's how much I don't remember it. Okay, well. With that kid who it. looks like a Leo DiCaprio lookalike, you know, like a knockoff version of Leo DiCaprio, okay? Who's that? Garfield? No, not Garfield, but the guy, the kid who plays the villain. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I can't remember what the villain is. I don't know who it is. Don't you know? It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. That's a. I mean, it'll probably matter, I guess, if, if they do the Spider-Man that everybody claiming where he's going to go to a multiverse and have all these other Spider-Man, which if they don't show up in that movie, I won't be disappointed because I don't really want to see them. Yeah, I don't know how it is. Yeah, it's, it's too early for I'm me to decide. Not interested in seeing them. <laughs> okay, so I want to go back to your point of the Civil War thing, though. When you said, like, when you saw Tom Holland in Civil War, right? Yeah, he was really good. That's definitely. Oh, yes. Right off the bat, like, he's, yes. he's fantastic, right? Yes, but at him. that moment, it wasn't enough for me to judge, put him above Toby yet. Oh, it was enough for me. No, it wasn't enough for me. So why is okay, that? Why yeah. was that so fast for you to decide it was better than uh, Because he Toby? was, because in that, those few instances, he was so much like a kid. The, and I mean, he just like constantly talk. He did everything that I read. I mean, it was like I was reading the comic book again. Yes, he did. He did do the like constantly was, talking. All the talk. smart remarks, comments. I mean, he's been busy fighting people. Like, remember the arm? We almost yes. gets punched with the arm. He grabs the arm, looks at it. He goes, "Whoa, you got a yeah. big arm!" Dude, he compliments so cool. the other person. Like, he's he's trying to yes. narrate what is exactly is happening. He's, he's, I mean, he's he's just he is Spider Man. I mean, Tobey Maguire just didn't seem like. I mean, Tobey Maguire was good. That Spider Man was good. When no, Tobey was good. Yes, but I had nothing to put it against except for the TV show from the seventies. <laughs> but he just didn't have that energy. And you know what's really crazy when you mention the TV show? Right off when they started this, right? They played the Spider Man theme from this TV show. Yes, Spider Man. Yes, but don't sing it because we could get flagged. Oh, yeah. Do not sing anything. Yeah. (laughs) That's why I refrain myself from doing it. But, like, they played that theme song, but like a modernized version, you know? And I thought that was really interesting. It's modernized. They didn't put any words in it. Yeah, they didn't put any words in it, but it's that theme. So you, yeah, it's, it's really a recognizable. Well, it's a thing. So, I mean, because you're, you're setting a Spider-Man movie. How could you not have it? Yeah, it's... Yeah, just this kid. I mean, this guy was was the Spider-Man. He's the Spider-Man from the comic books. He talks a lot. He talks nonstop. He's full of energy. I mean, Tobey Maguire, he was a little more reserved and stuff. His reserve, it feels like they were already playing seniors right back in the first one. The Sony yeah. first one. Yeah. I mean, I They guess, graduated at the end. Yeah, so they did. I mean, and the first one was good. But I think the problem was Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. About the second and the third one kind of ruined it for me. The second one? I thought the second one was the best one out of the, that trilogy. Was it? It's not no, the third I one. I was. I didn't like. I didn't really enjoy the second one. Really? I like yeah, the second I really one. Didn't enjoy it. Yeah, I like. I like the, the well because I like that part where he gives up to be Spider-Man. Oh, the out of the trilogy, I like the first one the best. Oh. But now that we got this new Spider-Man, I'm like. He's Tony McGuire. Oh, you mean the guy from? I mean, what what, what was that other movie he's in? I don't even remember. Pekka. <laughs> but he plays a photographer, right? Of course he does, because Peter Parker is a photographer. In the I film. know. I mean, like the other movie. I I I can't remember what it is now. He was in Pleasant View, right? Oh yeah, he was in yeah. Pleasant View, which was <laughs> was very pleasant movie. <sighs> But there was a lot of uh, Pleasantville was a good movie, man. So it, hands it down, we already movie. we already agreed that Tom Holland is the best Spider Man so far. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Holland's the best Spider Man. Tom I mean, Holland's the best Spider Man. They had another actor almost picked to be Spider Man, but he backed out. Really? Yeah, I can't remember what the actor was who the actor was, but yeah, they had somebody else already. And I guess he uh I don't know what he But did. then, is it really Tom Holland or just the writing and the directing of the well, uh, sure Disney did? No, I think it's all. I think it's a combined deal. Oh. But I bet, I would say it was the writing too. Because, I mean, come on, the writers are going for what was Spider Man. Yes. It's exactly how I imagine it. I would it. say, I would say you're right. I mean, well, I'm thinking that Tom Holland was a big part of it. He has a lot of energy. He's a good actor. But it is the writing too. It has to be the writing. Plus, I mean, Disney, I mean, I can't see Disney. Marvel is behind this now. Oh, yeah. Marvel is behind I mean, this. Which is Disney their, anyway. Yeah. Well, should, well, instead of just having their name on something, well, I, I'm not going to say it's Disney. I mean, it's backed by Disney, but, Back you know, it's Disney. Marvel's idea. It's Marvel. Everything's by Marvel now. Yes. But, you know, most of the movies we're seeing, they're Marvel movies, but they had no input. They had very little input from Marvel, and the directors didn't have to listen to them. Hmm. Now, 
when Marvel's in a movie, the directors have to listen to what Marvel has to say. Yeah. I mean, which is Kevin Feige, I guess. Yeah, this Kevin case. Feige makes certain that you listen to what they got to say. Yes. Because I'm, I'm sure Kevin Feige's like, okay, these guys have been writing Spider Man for years, and you just picked up the script yesterday. You're going to do what they say. Yeah. You know, it's so funny, right? Like, Kevin Feige is now one of my gods, I guess I believe in. And. <laughs> And well, I, because we like, watch these movies so close back to back, right? Like weekly, I even told my wife that, like, hey, man, if we have another son, right, I'm going to name him Kevin Feige Chu for KFC. So I get a double win. Oh, chicken. <laughs> so I get two wins. Kevin Feige Chu and KFC. It's great. It's, it's meant to be. Because the only other name I thought of is John Connor Chu. But it's not so it's not as cool as KFC, JCC. KFC, come on. <laughs> okay, that's the best you can come up with. Because like, I was thinking, if I have a kid, I'm just going to name him, you know. Uh... Tony Stark. <laughs> no, actually, I was going to name him Steve Rogers. <laughs> oh, Steve. I thought about that, too. Steve and Rogers, then, too. And Bruce S-O-C. Wayne. Well, maybe not Bruce Wayne for me, but like because, Steve on, Rogers. Wayne could, be, Wayne could be a middle name. <laughs> yes, Wayne can be a middle name. You're right. So, and Rogers can't be a, but Roger can Roger, be Roger, yes. <laughs> Steve Rogers. And anybody that can't get that is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I think we talked about this before. I named my dogs Jarvis and Friday. I did think about Bucky and uh, Peggy, but I don't think Bucky and Peggy is as cool as Jarvis and Friday. No, no that's not a dog's name. Yeah, it's, it's weird, right? Buck, Bucky, is, it could be a dog's name. Yeah, it could. Because I remember when I first heard of Bucky, I'm like, you serious? Well, you're talking <laughs> about the gas station? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't think about the gas station because that was before gas station showed up. But yeah, Bucky was like, it's like with a, with a sidekick named Bucky. I'm like, oh, I'm tilt this a little bit. Okay, go. <laughs> Dump is that Bucky? So um, I want to start talking about the movie. So I like the um, you know what it really took me off um is this beginning that they uh that he did the home movie with his phone. Did yes. you see? That? Oh yeah, well because we start yeah well that's the neat thing is it starts. With him going to, to Germany. Civil War, yes. Yeah, so we got to fill in the Civil War. Well, actually, well, we shouldn't do that, but... No. Because the movie actually starts even um, before that. So it's it's early, right after the events earlier. of New York, yes. Yeah, eight years earlier, and we get to see why the Vulture forms. Yes. We get to see Michael Keaton. And it's it's actually, he's not a bad guy. No, he's not a bad guy at that no, point. He's just this hardworking guy. I'm so glad you point that out, because I was going to point out like what you said before. Tony Stark creates demons. Well, this is the, the first one in the Spider-Man universe that he creates a demon for Spider-Man enemy. Yeah. Well, it's, it's somebody got stepped on. Yes. Well, I mean, come on. Everybody knows. It. I mean, especially people like us. We know what it feels like. You oh, I know. Just somebody, it's like you can't ever get ahead. No, but Every then they had that something. scene within that like time period when he said like, so they getting paid for the mess that they, they're getting paid to clean up the mess that they made. Exactly, and well, then the yeah, smart guy is like, "Yeah, he's no, it's all rigged." And yeah, I feel yeah, what you this mean. Takes because yeah, this the first tar- takes place right after the Battle of New York. Yes, and he's got a crew, and apparently he got the okay from this probably the state, state yeah, from of the New city, York. Yeah. There's a city of New York to clean up that mess. So he's getting all this stuff. He's making all this money. Bought all these trucks. He's gonna make a good living. He's trying to make a decent living. Yes, I'm he's sure making, he's just yeah. edging ahead. I mean, but he's got all these guys that work for him, and he's got his families. Taking. Yes, and of course they started to do the job, and here comes the government. Just comes in. Uh, the government? Sorry, you mean uh, Tony Stark? <laughs> well, I'm not going to say it's Tony Stark because it's the government. Yeah. It is the government, actually. I'm, t- I'm sure that Stark Enterprises probably gets all that stuff and destroys it, breaks it down, and processes it, and learns about it. Yeah. The help. But it's just uh, like people weapons. like us find someone to blame, like, oh, he's the witch kid. He's the witch boy. Well, it's, but I mean, it was be- it was wrong because this guy did all this stuff. He had already had a contract, and yep. the government just took it from him and said, I'm sorry. And it's, it's like it's, we're not going to pay you back for anything. We're not even we're not going to do nothing for you. Yep. I mean, they really crapped on these guys. Yeah, definitely. I mean, because usually they would refund you for your stuff, but they yeah. didn't even do nothing for this guy. They're just basically like, uh, just leave. Just leave. We and got course, this from here. You know. Of course, you know that one guy goes, "Oh, you overextended yourself." The FBI agent or whatever he is. I mean, <laughs> and of course. We had the Rocketeer moment, you know, where he tells him, why don't y'all get a real job? Yes, yes. That's He's a very Rocketeer face, moment. Yes. And then, of course, everybody pulls their guns out. I know. That was serious. Like, what? that's when they know, like, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> Cause... Yeah. Yeah, it remind just, me of Shu a little bit. Like, you know, oh, really? that's, that yeah, scene. Well, because, like, I he's an like, agent of something. 
I just know as soon as he said that, I remember even sitting at the theater when he goes, you overextend yourself. I was like, Rocketeer, he's going to punch you. Yeah, he's going to punch you. Yeah, I knew that was coming too. And then we shoot eight years ahead. But yeah. Well, well yeah. No, it goes that scene like you're saying. Yep, the homemade Tony movie. Stark, it turns out that Stark Enterprises and the government create a department called the Department of Damage Control. Yeah, Damage Control. But you know it benefits Stark. Oh, yeah. But I think in Stark and his probably ideas, they got to fix it. He has a foundation. We found that out in Civil War. He has a foundation that fixes when they destroy stuff. Mm -hmm. They didn't even mention damage control yet because they didn't think about it yet. No. Even though damage control is in the comic books. Oh. Yeah. It makes sense. You know, like he want to protect these or even regular people that could use that power for evil. Yeah, I mean, and the thing is he gathers up the materials and destroys it properly. Plus he runs the Avengers. So that equipment could benefit the Avengers. Yes. And who knows? Maybe he's making sure it doesn't fall in a... to the wrong hands. That's what I was but, thinking. Well, you know? it does fall in the wrong hands because hey, we no. saw during Civil War that Hydra has tons those... of this crap. Yep. So apparently everybody's been spill- is still in all this crap, and nobody knows. Yeah. So that which actually happens in this one. Let's also yes. uh um uh, Michael Kitten did, but like they did yeah. this for eight well, years. Yeah, because which is cool because well in the in the comic book Vulture always steals. He just robs banks yes. and bank cars. And I know. I read the, the comic silly, from the 60s. Yeah, all the silly stuff. But so, in here, under here, if you want to ask yourself, well, why come the Avengers never look at these guys? Because well, they've been doing it underground. Yeah, now. underground, yeah. You know what's really funny? Place. Like, the Vulture, right? Like, I, I appreciate how great he looks. I didn't I didn't care oh, yeah. for that green. Oh, he's amazing. He's so, so amazing, man. So look, see, uh, Shane is showing me a, a Lego version of the Vulture on the, uh, it's, it's on awesome. the video. So I show my wife, right? Like what, like what the Vulture from the '60s that I read about—he robbed banks and stuff. Yeah, well, he has and the bald head, the, green the Pinocchio suit. nose. Yeah, the, it looks the like a big... nose, like a beak. Yeah, I mean, then the original comic book version it looks like an evil Big Bird. <laughs> it looks like it does look like a Vulture, though. I mean, Vulture's yeah, he's a Vulture, yeah. Head. But I mean, it looked like. Do you really want to see this character? No. I don't want to see that character. It looked like you Mr. McGrew. I don't want to see that villain at all. I mean, come on, this villain looks weak, and he had and he had like wings. Just look, he, he like to me, right? Like he doesn't look sinister enough. He doesn't. Yeah, well, that's that's the key word, <laughs> sinister <laughs> six, right there. I mean, he doesn't look like sinister. That's why I said like he doesn't look sinister enough. Which is cool. I also want to, which makes me want to point something else out. But yeah, well, let's finish though. The vulture, yeah, you don't want to see him because, like you said, he doesn't look evil. No. But Michael Keaton. Well, first of all, Michael Keaton can play the bad guy. Yes. That guy, man, just the way he talks, it's like, dude. Yeah. I don't want to date his daughter at all. Because <laughs> you'll find your head. We never talk way. about this, but you mentioned like Michael Keaton is the best Batman to you because he's the one that can play both Batman and Joker. I don't, I don't and know. He's Joker. the best Batman to me, but he is. He's a pretty Batman. good one. He is a very good one. And plus, I watched it when I was a kid. Oh, like, you might not have said it. I heard someone said that, like, he's the only person that I can see that play that can play both Batman and the Joker. Oh, I never heard that. Oh, I do. Then it's not you, man. I it's, can't remember who said it then. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I probably heard it from somewhere, yeah. He probably could play the Joker. Well, especially after this movie, right? Like, the way that he carried the vulture, like the bad yeah. guy role. But you also want to put out that he was in a movie called Birdman. Yes, I know. And now he is a bird man. He is the bird the vulture, man. But the, it's the neat, the vulture, the new vulture suit has the wings, but it uses, I mean, it's more realistic because we know how it flies. We see the little engines on it. Yeah, the turbines, right? Yeah. Sense. Plus, he's wearing a coat and he's got the feathers. He's got the. Uh, he's the wearing like a, some kind of looks, bomber jacket, right? Like. Yeah, he's got a bomber jacket with yeah. the, the fur around it, which yes. would look the feathers like a vulture has. Yes. And then he's got the helmet with the big green eyes. I know, like oh, that just completes the look. Like whatever but that's Marvel thing. does, for, like Disney does with this thing, right? Like it just it feels so right. So far, this, up to this point, this is my favorite villain. <sighs> Wait, from I mean, Spider Man or just? Oh, Thanos oh. is good, but no, I almost like the vulture just as good. I mean, oh. I, I guess Thanos makes a bigger point, but he's been more movies. Yes. But I like up to this point because this is like I'm like the vulture. I'm not disappointed. No, never I thought, seen. I thought we we're gonna get it. I thought we we're gonna get something really good in the Mandarin. Mm. No, no, we didn't even get the Mandarin. No. So I mean, yeah, because all the all the villains so far for the individual movies has just been kind of ho hum. You know? Will even the Red Loki, Skull? The Red Skull wasn't that great. He barely barely showed. Did you think the Red Skull was pretty good? 
I didn't I didn't fear the Red Skull at all. Not great. Oh, you mean by fear? That that's oh yeah, because well, it feels the fear. Yeah, I didn't see him. You know, like, he wasn't even a big villain, you know, to me. Like he wasn't like oh he might get he might be Captain America down. Now the Vulture to me could be beat down Peter Parker. Oh yes, he Vulture can to me could probably beat down a bunch of the Avengers on their own. Oh. Because I mean he was technical. Like I mean he probably could have been even more technical and fought Iron Man one on one. Well, you think so? Oh, uh, to me, the vulture was almost a, a, a could have been an iron. I mean, come on, I bet he was he was tougher than Whiplash. Oh yeah, I, I agree. He's tougher than I Whiplash. See, he's tougher than Whiplash. What's some of the other villains? Harley. I mean, I bet he would have beat Killian. No big deal. <laughs> oh, but on. Killian knows magic. <laughs> Killian knows magic. Wait, Killian hold on. had nanites in his blood. Oh, is that what that was? Is that Killian? Wait, which am I Killian. Killian? Killian, the guy that at the end of the movie decided said he was the Mandarin. Oh, oh, yeah, definitely. Yes, that's right. Oh, yeah, I, I got him confused with uh, Doctor Strange. Oh, Doctor Strange. Oh, Domaru. Yeah, dead. I'm sorry. Not Domaru. Yeah. The, uh, the the guy that was in 007, the villain. Oh, okay. Yes, I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I, I got those uh, kind of confused. There's too many people with Cassius. Yeah, Cassius. Yeah, Cassius. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Well, Cassius was just was just a pawn. So Cassius wasn't the deal. Domaru so was the main Domaru villain. Was the main Domaru villain. was just a big head. He was, he was okay, but... No man. Oh, I mean, this this guy was a villain. This yeah. is the, what a villain should be in a comic book. He's even better than the comic book too. Yeah. I, oh, he was way better. In the He's comic way book. better. I mean, he exceeded with the comic book one, and, and I mean, I'm thinking of like I mean Jack Nicholas. I mean he rivaled Jack Nicholson's Joker in a way. Yes. Cause yeah, yeah, yes. Joker was because the Joker was pretty evil. Yes, it's very, it's good very villain. sinister. Very sinister, exactly. Gosh, that's our new. That's our. That is our word for today, folks. Yes, sinister, sinister on a Spider-Man movie. <laughs> I have a very sinister. <laughs> <laughs> Which is right. It's the Sinister Six. Yeah, and I want to point out though. You notice there is actually six villains. There's a main villain in this movie, but there's actually six Spider-Man villains appear in this movie. Okay, so I know I saw the Scorpion. Okay, you know that well, the character is a scorpion. Yep. You got the vulture. The prowl. You got the shocker. Oh, the shocker, the shocker. That's right. You got the prowler. Yes. What was the other? Well, you said six villains, right? Not the sinister yeah. six. Yeah, six villains. Yeah, there's not the sinister six but, in the show, but there's there's, there's, there's six at least six villains. villains. Or did I count it wrong? Well, let's do it again. You said vulture, right? And then yeah, uh, yeah. scorpion, vulture, shocker, scorpion, shocker. Uh, prowler. That's four already. Yeah. Seems like there's two more in here. Well, we'll go on. We'll, we'll, I mean, we'll we'll, we'll figure it out when we once we go it. on. I had it. I had it yesterday when I was watching the movie. I was like, "Oh, there's four in here." Oh wow. Oh, the tinker. The tinker. The, okay, uh, the guy that builds all the suits. Oh yeah, that big, 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 big dude. The, the big guy. The big nerdy guy. Yeah. Oh. He's a villain. Interesting. I, I got. I can't remember what he looks like. Tanker, right? Is that? Yeah, yeah, I forgot what his name is, but yeah, he's the guy that's building all the stuff. Yes, he's the guy that steals uh, some of Iron Man's technology, and it starts off the. Uh, I think it was him. Starts off the Iron Wars. Will a tanker villain? Oh, well, that's only five though. No, there's one more. Tanker, okay, tanker. Yeah, tank, tank, tanker. You know, you tinker, tinker with yeah. stuff. I just said tank like a you know like a battle. Yeah, tank. I know. It sounds. It does sound like I'm saying. Oh, his name is Mason. Yeah, Mason. Yeah. There's one more though, and I can't remember who it is. Oh wow, Masters of Evil. Yep. But he didn't seem like a uh, a bad guy because he's so like nerdy in a way. Yeah. You know, well, he's... I mean, he is a he is a Spider-Man villain. Though. Yes, he's a Spider-Man villain. Wow, man, they went all out. So there was five of them. It's, I'm pretty sure there's a. Well, we still one. gonna we're gonna go through the scene. Well, not what scene by scene, right? We're gonna go through this movie anyway. Okay, let's go through this movie. Yep. Because I'm pretty sure there's, there's a six one. Just you know, it's really fast in the movie for um Ned to find out he was Spider Man. It's really quick for someone to find out Peter oh, Parker was Spider Man in this one. Yeah, it's really quick. And you know what? They even in that scene, right? When he finds out, they never talk about Uncle Ben, but they talk about Uncle Ben. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, they do. They tell the story. I mean, basically, you know the story. Yeah, they're, they're hoping you know the story. You should know the story. I mean, it's been. I love that they now. didn't do that. Like, I love that they didn't have to go like, oh, let's not go through this yeah, again. I don't do this again. I it's don't so funny. It. it feels like so many times, right? But they only did it twice. 
<laughs> like <laughs> Maguire <laughs> and Garfield, but then like it's like everybody knows it by this point. Like, don't do it again. Like this. Is... Yeah, well, I mean, out of the Marvel universe, Spider-Man is the most well-known character. Yeah, it's weird, right? Like, like, I, like I would consider him, like you said before, like a, a low, like a level B superhero. Yeah. Cause like Avengers, they do the big pictures. Yeah, big in pictures in stuff. the MCU, he's like yeah. a big character. But I mean, in our universe, Spider Man's almost as popular as Batman or Superman. Yes. So I mean, almost there's almost there's nobody that's not a fan of Spider Man or so, doesn't know who Spider Man is. I want to talk about Anne May before I get not not just the actress, right? I like in the yeah. comic books, like you know, in the sixty, right? And when, when when Peter Parker was fifteen, Aunt May looks ninety. Yes. And when I went, when I went Spider Man in the nineties, right? He's like thirty two, thirty three. Aunt May still looks ninety. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, the, he became, he grew up. Spider Man's like the, one of the few characters that actually grows up. Yes. I mean, there's been some other ones, but a lot of the characters. I mean, they, they're since their sex, the sixties, they've been around. And Spider Man actually is a teenager, goes to college, gets married to uh, Mary Jane, yes. and everything. And I think they may even had kid at, at one point. They have a daughter. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's about but, but 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 I just thought like Aunt May always looks ninety. Exactly. <laughs> and May. I love it when like when they showed it in Civil War when Aunt May was young because like he's a teenager. You know? Yeah. Well how is Aunt May gonna be ninety this whole yeah, year? Did, and well that's the thing. A lot of people are probably wonder why is she not old? I'm like, why does she have to be old? See that's the thing, like they keep thinking why like well, she's aunt... ninety the whole time. Exactly. Why would your aunt be so old? Yeah, why is your aunt so old when you were in high school? Exactly. I mean your aunt should be the same age as your parents, so... Yes. So that means, like, yeah, Peter's yeah. parents is 90? <laughs> I might be pushing it. Maybe 70, okay? Okay. Well, she looked like 90 in the comic. <laughs> yeah, it does. They look like a fragile old woman. <laughs> like, I'm going to break her. Yeah, because, I mean, if you think about most of your aunts, your aunts aren't that old. They're not even... None of them are 90. My mom is not even... Uh, she will be 70 this year. But, like, she's not 90. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, and mom is the oldest sister, so none of my aunts are like seventy. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I was thinking none of my aunts when I was that young. Yeah. Old. I mean, it's possible. I mean, I mean, like a kid, like I mean, a family of ten. Had, yeah, my mom had an aunt almost her age, and then you know, so times change. But yes, just like you said, it should never change. It should. Like I mean, like in Andrew Garfield, they have um Sally Field plays Aunt May. She doesn't look that old. Okay. Because yeah. Martin Sheen plays Uncle Ben. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, but then he's only in the movie for 10 minutes anyway, as, as we know. But, like, I love that nobody plays Uncle Ben. I had to keep touching on that. Well, we don't know. Yeah, not yet. We've never seen Uncle Ben yet. And they may show him in the future. They might. Like a, like a flashback scene, but that's okay. Yeah, so, as well, long as they don't have know. to explain that over and in over. Multiverse, in the multiverse, you know, thing can happen. Ooh. Not everybody has to be dead in another universe. You're right. That's how they bring stuff back, yes. I mean, it's not really bringing stuff. You're just seeing other stuff. Yeah. So how did you like um? You don't have to latch onto something in another universe and bring it to your own. I mean, what, what, kleptomaniac. I wonder. That's why we don't get the time travel. You know what? I, yeah, we don't get the time travel. You're right. You know what? I also really like about this movie about Peter Parker. Um, there's a way that they show that he's a really smart kid, right? Without so heavily relying on it so much. You know? Yeah. Yeah. They didn't. They didn't give the glass. They didn't try to. In, they didn't try to make him a nerd. No, but you know he's smart because we know he's a smart kid. Yeah, you know he's a smart kid. Plus, the school he goes to is a smart school. Yes. I mean, it's an academic school. I mean, they, they show all his academic stuff. Plus, I mean, he made the web the web stuff. The web stuff. Himself. That Weird Tony was that. impressed by, yeah. Yeah, we saw him doing all that stuff. We saw that, we saw that in this film, you know, where he's making the web stuff. Oh, yeah, in chemistry class. Yeah, in chemistry <laughs> he's class. He's like, 3.0. Plus, <laughs> I mean... I don't know. I think the Ned, the Ned character is important because we got we got to see. I mean, kind of kind of brings some of the stuff up. If, I think Ned brings him up to speed that he's been Spider Man for a while. Now. Yes, especially when he sees him. You're the Spider Man from the YouTube video. Yeah, from the YouTube video. No, 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 no. What are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing? You can't, you can't just barge into my room. But of course, I like it how Ned starts off the scene because remember it's Peter Parker at his locker, and of course. Boom, here's the emperor over his shoulder. Lego, hey, we're going to build the Death Star. I was yes. thinking, Ned could be my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who wouldn't want to build the Death so, Star? I was watching this movie with my wife right earlier this week. I, we, me and her just watched it like right before we, uh, we did this too. So we watched it twice. I was like, I want to build the Death Star. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Come on, dude. What does he want to do with the Death Star? He must get a good allowance to afford the Death Star. Because, I mean, I got a job and I can barely afford the Death Star. And you know what's really funny? I like that they brought up Star Wars because uh, Peter did that in Civil War about the Empire yeah. Strikes Back. Yeah, and I was like, all right, he's such a Star Wars geek. I, I love it. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the funny thing is the way he explains it, though, and. and deal he goes oh i saw this old movie yes he's like how old is this the kid is, most people aren't gonna i don't think people are gonna refer to it star wars that way because no i i never refer to star wars as the old movie I mean, it's so weird watch them all yeah so do you think peter parker's a fan of the the new trail <laughs> i want to say yes because he's young oh. it's different because uh, when we watched the uh, one, two, and yeah, three. Are we already in our twenties? He's a smart kid, so he should know better. <laughs> I think he's just happy to see them, because if That's you think about it, at his true. age, they they were no longer new. If you think about it, there's already yeah. been released. Yeah, no, we shouldn't we shouldn't rag on it too much. Because come yeah. on, you know me and you were excited when they made the new, the next three. Oh yeah, it was this? Oh, of course, it's definitely. Like J.J. Abrams. I'm like. If he wouldn't have ruined Star Wars, uh, Star Trek, I'd be happy. Hey, you know what? I was too excited when the trailers came up on seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Yeah, well, I just remember watching him, him, him them making a big deal out of him being a Star Wars fan. So I thought, huh, maybe he won't ruin it like he did Star Trek. So this should be good. And then I watched it. I was like, hmm, I think I've seen this movie. Hey, before. you need to stop talking trash. We're not. This is not Star Wars talk. Okay. We're talking oh, about okay, Spider Man okay. well, Homecoming. Hey, opportunity, I got the trash. Somebody. <laughs> I gotta go for it. <sighs> hey, but by the way, Spider Man was excellent. I don't, know who the director, I don't know who the director was, but hey, he's better than Abrams. Oh, you know what? I was um, I, I um, I wanted to point it out. This is like the first time I actually seen a superhero get dressed. He did it in the alleyway. Remember, he was like he oh, picked well, up the sandwich. Yeah, come on, because Superman did it all the time. Well, they did that little uh, the telephone thing, but he yeah, actually he took his time. Like he take off his shirt, he put the new Spider-Man thing on, yeah. like fully get yeah. dressed in the alleyway. Move his backpack to the wall. <laughs> Oh, to a trash uh, dumpster. I don't I'd strip down in a dirty old alleyway. Anybody <laughs> could see you. I mean, come on. Hey, but the neat thing is, you know, the, that technology we see in uh, Back to the Future where they close tighten up. Yes, he pushed that little uh, thing, he, which we find out was a drone later. He took uh, Tony Stark to uh, do that. Yes. Oh, you're talking about the spider. Yeah, the spider. The drone, the yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. She ain't showing me a drone. Look at that. Yeah, it's kind of big. Yeah. Does it have a camera on it? No, it oh. doesn't. Oh, just a drone. Yeah, it's the spider drone. I mean, Spider-Man drone. Oh, that's good. I should get one of those so I could learn how to fly a drone. It's probably not this hard, right? Actually, this one is easier to fly oh. than most ones I've had. It's not the easiest one that I own to fly. But... Oh, that looks so cool. Look at that drone. It's cool. It's Spider-Man, dude. That's the only reason I bought it. I thought, I thought it would be smaller, though, and it could fit on my chest, but it doesn't. <laughs> but hey, that's not, that's not the reason to get it, okay? <laughs> I mean, he walks around with a drone strapped to their chest. Did you get that on Amazon, too? No, I got it at Target. At Target? I got it discounted oh. because this came out after the movie came out. And I just happened to be in Target one day and they had some set, in, I guess, left over. So they marked it and cut it down to half. So I bought oh, it. Oh, that's good. That's a good price. Oh, it was way a good price. Yeah. How can I pass this up? Because I wanted one the first time I didn't <laughs> buy it. Because I was like, huh, this is expensive. Yes. And then when I saw this, I was like, this is not expensive. <laughs> Gives me more money to spend on Legos. <laughs> How did you like he was... um. Oh, you know what? Like, when we talk about, uh, well, no, we already talked about Ned, but I want to talk about, like, you know, he was swinging around the neighborhood and stuff, and they, like, he took the bike and he wrote a note on it. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, it shows him, <laughs> well, you know, after he comes back from uh, school, he went Germany. Yeah. yeah. No, after he comes back from Germany, you know, he talks to Tony Stark, and Tony Stark, he thinks he's an Avenger now. Yeah. And so he thinks he's a big hero now, even though Tony Stark just needed him for a job. Yep. So, like and a contract. Tony Stark actually kind of saw something of himself in this kid. Yes. Or I well, thought, huh? The good side, just the good stuff, yeah. you know? Yeah, well, he saw something. He saw something. But I do like it when, you know, when they're in the car, and of course, Tony Stark reaches over, he tries to hug him, he says, hey, hey, <laughs> we're not there not yet. hugging you. We're not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, he puts Happy in charge of watching this. Yes, movie. he does. And, he, and then, of course, the front is Peter works for the Stark, is a Stark intern. Yeah, Stark intern, yep. Which, come on, your Iron Man's intern. What would Iron Man do? He would make you a superhero. Everybody should figure that out, but yeah. we don't. But anyhow, what was that? Well, I mean, I'm just pointing all this out because this is an important plot to the story. Mm -hmm. Since Iron Man is a big, big part of this story too. Yeah, he is. He's in a lot in this a lot in this oh, movie. Yeah. Just kind of like the same amount in Civil War. 
Yes, I know. Except he doesn't get in a fight with Spider-Man. No. He's like, a, he's the mentor, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he should look into it because, I mean, I'm thinking that uh, Bucky may kill uh, Spider-Man's parents. I mean, he seems to be killing everybody's parents. <laughs> oh, you're bringing that stuff from the comic books. Uh, what just that? He didn't kill him in the comic Did he kill him? In the no, movie? he didn't kill him in the comic books, but, like, they were spies who was controlled by the Red Skull. Oh, we, yeah, that's, that was a stupid story, too. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at that, was you. The, that was one of the dumber comic book stories. <laughs> See, I mean, come on. These like are the ones that I'm like, I read that too. And I'm like, dude, this is kind of lame. It didn't look like as cool as I thought, like the covers, hey, you know. As long as we stay away from Scarlet Spider, I'm thinking a whole bunch of really Spider Man people are <laughs> cringing now. You know, the face, yeah, where they had the clone of Peter Parker. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. The Double Ganger and all that, that almost stuff. Ruined, yeah. yeah, that almost ruined Spider Man right there. Yeah. But now we know that he's. he's He's doing all these hero things. He's calling Tony Stark constantly. He's calling Happy constantly, driving them nuts, telling him about the cheerio he got. Oh, that's him. funny. Oh, I love that. Especially, <laughs> I didn't tell about the about that scene, the scene where he's on the building. They go, hey, well, who are you? He goes, I'm Spider-Man. Go, okay, Spider-Man, do a flip. <laughs> Remember? But you see that guy. There's a guy in the background with that uh, yeah, yeah. That head, that ball. I told you, if you ever watched uh, Star, Star Trek, uh, The Voyage Home, Star yeah. Trek Four. There's a guy, there's a scene where uh, Spock and Kirk get on a bus and there's this punk rocker with the, with the, with the, really? you know, something about everything, everybody be better off dead. Yeah. And stuff. And Spock reaches over and knocks him out and then everybody on the bus cheers. Holy crap. That's the same actor. Oh, no way. Same yes. actor? Yep. And he's still got the same stinking radio. Opening. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. So you're saying well, John Watts, the director, is probably a Star Trek fan. Oh, everybody's a Star Trek fan in, in, in the MCU. It's all, a lot of Star Trek's hidden in it. Because, I mean, they mentioned Star Trek Four in uh, Infinity War. No, Endgame. In Endgame. Remember? Because when they go, so we're going to time travel, like, uh, Back to the Future? Oh, yes, they did. Uh, I remember the part, yes. Uh, Boy's Home. Yes. You know, and they go, oh, so that's a bunch of crap, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, they're hidden in there. They're in there. But, yeah, that's so cool. Nicholas you know what? I want to point out something, right? Like, even in this Spider-Man movie, they did it. Why does Spider-Man always have to pose next to the American flag? I feel like that's something Captain America should do. I don't know. I mean, the Rocketeer did it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, but then we only have one Rocketeer movie. I'm talking about, like, hey, McGuire, hey, Garfield, is, now hey, Holland. America. <laughs> oh, America. Because I, I thought, because now I want to bring up Captain America. Because, you know, remember, like, they had the uh, school assembly, and then there was uh, Captain America yeah. uh, film <laughs> show, and then that comedian, Hann uh, Hannibal Burgess, was like, yeah, you know, whatever, Cap. Oh, he's um, a comedian? Yeah, he's a comedian. He's funny. Oh, he's he's um, he, uh, yeah, yeah, he was a coach, right? He's like, okay, I'm pretty sure he's like, a war criminal now. <laughs> yes. Well, that's the neat thing, yeah, because, you know, this is after Civil War, so, yeah. Yeah, he's a war criminal. I thought it's just so man. funny, the way he, no, he's a great comedian. Yeah. His yeah, name yeah, is uh, Hannibal Burgess. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah now, he's really know, funny. I've seen him before. Maybe that's where I've seen him. Yeah. But uh, they also, you know, he's in a class, remember when the class, when he's talking, and Ned's talking about him, and he, hey, hey, hey how, how far can you shoot? And he goes, I don't know. I'd stand on top of a roof and I'd shoot as far as it go. But you know, <laughs> the teacher was talking about the Sokovia Accords. Yes, I know. I noticed that he was talking about the Sokovia Accords. And then, of course, I want to point out the principal. Maybe oh, the, the principal, principal was that the Japanese guy from the first one. Yeah. I mean, not the first oh, one. I mean, um, Captain America. He is actually, yeah, it's the same actor. It's the same he's actor. Playing probably the grandson. The grandson, yes. Because you see the picture of, of it. In the principal's office, yes. In the principal's office and all his medals. Yes. I, I did notice that. He had the secret soldier serum when he lived. <laughs> I don't know. How many people did they freeze with the secret soldier serum? Like, <laughs> I'm just going to assume it's the uh, grandson. Yeah, it's just a grandson. I also want to point out the teacher. Which one? Oh, the main. Oh, that, that teacher that, yeah, that, that take him yeah, to the, the stuff, yes. Yeah. Remember, he, he first appears in the Hulk as a student in the lab. Yeah, you said that before in the lab. Yeah, like the one that got the free pizza. Yep, it's got the free pizza, so uh, they can steal some information. Yes. So yes, this 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 movie is very enrooted. It's it is cause because last time I talk about my show, you're playing two MCU characters, right? But I forgot about these people. Like, well, uh, technically, the principal played two MCU characters, and the teacher played two MCU characters. It's just not major ones, I guess, in a way. Yeah. Well, but basically, they've already decided that they're the same. They're the same character now. Same character. Okay. Oh, we saw this teacher studying to be a teacher. Oh, is that what it is? 
He's a teacher. Yeah, because it was at a college. Oh, he's studying to. Oh, that's funny. Yes. So he became. That's that was his. That was his college days, and now we see him here as a teacher. Is it the same Peter character? Paul. If I look up on, it's I, the same actor. It's the same actor, but not uh, the same character. Like not. Uh, no, they have decided. Somebody asked this question to Feige. Oh. I think it was Feige. One of somebody, and he's he's like, "Yep, that was." Oh, it yeah. wasn't ever really planned. No, it was really planned. It just like it. Well, it works out that way. It works out that way. I know. So, yes. Just like the thing that you don't want to believe that Peter Parker was wearing the Iron Man helmet in Iron Man Two. Oh, God, come on. It see, you see, know. but you like the teacher theory, but you don't like the Peter Parker one. I'm thinking if we do that all the time, eh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, only yeah. two. This is only two instances, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but that bothers you a lot. It doesn't bother me a lot. It, it bothers me. you. That's it the thing. It bothers me a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Right. So this thing is stupid. Okay. <laughs> That's my opinion. Most of the world can love it. I'm okay with it. Yeah. You know, but, yeah. I just thought it was cool. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything at all. No. But maybe that's where uh, Uncle pa- uh, Uncle Ben died. <laughs> <laughs> Died at the Stark Park. <laughs> yes. How did you like the casting of Marissa Tomei? I love it. It's Marissa yeah. Tomei. I was like, oh my god, they're gonna get Marissa Tomei. I'm like, I can't believe it. I mean, who would play a better Aunt May? Nobody. Nobody. No, I mean, after you put a Marissa Tomei in there, you're just not gonna top it. I mean. You know, I forgot. You know, I I talk about like you know uh, Marvel change a lot of the things I'm familiar with Spider Man, right? Like, them living in an apartment was a huge difference for me. They changed uh, some things, but I mean, most of it stayed the same in a way. I mean, Spider-Man still is the kid that with, the, his aunt, with, yeah. the, with a lot to say. Yes. I mean, the essence of Spider-Man is more alive in this movie than any other movie. H- have you seen the... Uh, did change some stuff. Have you seen the but deleted scenes? Apartment. Did you get a chance to watch the deleted I scenes? I didn't, look the, I, don't, so, I didn't watch the deleted scenes. So uh, in the deleted scenes, right, they did a whole version of uh, Peter's home movie. Oh like, yes, I did see that. Well, I saw that a long time ago, and I don't remember all other. Oh, you don't. Yeah, so they they, they he just went all around Germany playing Spider Man. He was uh, well after they fought Captain America. He hung out after Happy went to sleep. Yeah. And then he's like taking women on these like uh, spider swing rides and stuff. Yeah, he's doing all kinds of stuff. Because like um, because at the in the morning they they do they do the breakfast thing, and, and Happy asks him like, "Oh, you were Spider Maning last night?" Like, "Oh no, what are you talking about?" And then he show him the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> like sticky man <laughs> save the chancellor like whoa he was a chancellor that's the talking i'm talking about like they do you and i were talking about that's the chancellor can i have that <laughs> you see happy's face all po'd <laughs> yeah yeah because i mean because happy happy was a, what did he say he moved him up to the asset manager yes <laughs> from uh hit forehead of security <laughs> i love that uh, I, 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 it took me a while to talk to you about that. I'm so insecure. Yeah, it was like that was personal. <laughs> he can't stand. And plus, Happy can't stand this kid at all. No, because he's a kid. Like he was, he used to be the head of security at the stock tower, and now he's like yeah. babysitting. Yeah, well, now that they're moving the stock. The, yeah, taking care of moving. Sold Avenger. We should say Avenger Tower. They have sold Avenger Tower, which makes me want to. Who bought Avenger Tower? See, I don't know, but I want to talk. Ooh. Who bought it? Did Oscorp buy it? Did the Fantastic Four buy it? I was going to go on Fantastic Four. I didn't think about Oscorp. Oscorp could have bought it. No, but I, I want to point out the timeline here. So, remember when Ant Man stole the thing, right? Because the, this movie, well, they haven't moved uh, the, 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 the little device that um okay. uh, Henry Pym needed when uh, Ant Man fought oh, okay. the Falcon. Okay. So where is this? Because this is supposed to be after Civil War, and no, they were well, just moving they, up no, there. No, this is this. They already have the. Uh, they've already already moved upstate. Oh, okay. But maybe he was holding on to it for some. Oh, reason. holding but on to the he, building. Okay. But after him, and after all, everybody left. They didn't need any reason for the building anymore, anyways. Hmm. Oh, anyway, okay. That makes sense. Okay, I'm thinking okay. Tony probably moved him out of the city, though, to so there won't be so much violence in New York. Oh, to somewhere like, oh, yeah, you know what? It makes sense. I mean, it's safer in a way. It's safer. You know just I mean? land and there's nobody there. Yeah, yeah. They're, so they're out there and they got this secured, <sighs> you know, because, you know, in the comic book, it's uh, Stark Tower, their Stark Tower, which the Avengers use as a secondary base, but their main base is the uh, mansion, Avengers Mansion. Oh, there's like nobody it's, out it's there. It's a mansion yeah. that belonged to Tony Stark. Hmm. 
it makes sense. Like you know, they, if if someone's going to attack, like they want to attack, I guess in a way the headquarters. Yeah, if they move it, right it just there. yeah, it's just a middle of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want that right in the middle of the city. I mean, of course, I would rather live in a Avenger Tower than Compound. But <laughs> hey, it's just me. I mean, it'd be easier to get to work on the outside of town. You know? Yeah. So yeah, the, so they moved outside. And I'm sure that Tony just finally either got a buyer. He may have been trying to sell it for a while. You know, that's interesting. Which is neat. I, I do want to point out that, which is awesome because when they're loading up the plane, okay, we already know Civil War happened. Yes. Dark. Stark and, and uh, Captain America aren't talking to each other. Mm-hmm. But remember when he's loading up the plane, he, t- he named some stuff that he's loading up. He loaded, he's loading up Captain America's prototype shield. That's what I'm talking about. I think that's the same shield because that's the one that's he gave shield. Captain America. That's the, one that, the one he's talking about is the shield. Is that, that shield? Captain. Yes. That's why so I have it in the background today because so that's the shield. It up. So the vulture almost stole that shield dude yes and you know what he mentioned like you know we gotta pick up the uh the old hulk buster well, plus, but he, he talked talk about, about those story. magic belt what is that i don't that? know anything about it but he tried to say the name of it yeah he couldn't, so he, just he couldn't pronounce it i thought he was trying to say mjolnir but like, that's no, Thor it's has not that. the hammer it's not Thor, the hammer door would keep the hammer with him because heather asked me like what is thor's magic belt I'm like i have no idea because happy I know, didn't I'm know sure if we look it up they'll tell us you know what let's me look it up right now because i have just got some crazy name it's probably got bark or something like <laughs> thor's magic. oh here we go thor's magic belt i just type in magic according to the old norse work of literature thor would always wear the iron gloves of <laughs> i don't know how to oh. say yeah. Come on, dig deep into your Nordic roots. George, <laughs> George, George, Jonathan. I don't know. <laughs> Jonathan. Jonathan's what it is. Is it? It's spelled J A R. Everything from every Norse word is spelled with a J. What's? Oh, is it so really? J A R N G R E I P R. Jalapeno is actually a Norse word. <laughs> not a oh, I'm sorry. It's the other one. It's his magic belt. Manjinjoro. Manjinjoro. M e g i n g j o r o. Sure, that's not how it's said, but we'll huh. go with it. Why would Thor's have his magic belt there? Because he lives there part time. Oh, everybody lives at Avenger Tower, so they got their stuff in there. I mean, if I was to kick, if I was to move your stuff out of my tower, I have to move your shield and your Spider Man doll behind you. It's funny. People ask why does Tony Stark have Thor's belt? It's one off mention. Huh? Interesting. Okay. I mean, I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, if you live somewhere, don't you keep most of your stuff there? Yeah, so that way it's easy for me because, you know, it's, it's yeah, my apartment in the event. Exactly. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you know, but it's a long distance to Asgard to get your stuff. <laughs> I thought they could make that anywhere. That, you know, Heimdall? <laughs> Let yeah, me through. Well, Heimdall, Heimdall's busy sometimes, okay? He's like, oh my God, not again. What did you forget, Thor? Did you forget your magic belt? Yeah, his magic belt. Maybe you just oh, leave Thor it definitely. there, okay? Did you forget a jacket? Are you getting cold there in New York? <laughs> <sighs> How did you like um uh Aaron Davis in this movie? Who is Aaron Davis? I mean uh Donald Glover's character. Oh, yes, it's pretty cool. Oh, I thought it, it is so awesome. right. It's like a little oh, part, but awesome. awesome when it sh- when he showed up. It is oh, also he, funny he, when uh I knew who the actor was when I first yeah. saw the movie, but I didn't know who he pl- who he was the voice. I mean, I didn't know who he played. What do you mean that di- um? Uh, yeah, I didn't know that he was going to be the. Ne- uh, I didn't know that. What's I mean, the next Spider-Man was his nephew. Yes. So they didn't mention that. They only mentioned like he never mentioned it like by name, right? Because during the interrogation scene between Aaron and yeah. Spider-Man, he said like because they both live in Queens, right? He's like, no, I don't want these weapons here either because I got a nephew that lives here. Yeah. Well, but, he played the character. I mean, he's a good actor. He I is, mean, but you know what's really well, funny? Just the way he does the character too. He is. It's That's just the, like, the hey man, you gotta get. I, I know what a girl sounds like. I'm not a girl. I'm a boy. I mean, I'm a man. Exactly. You need, you need to get better at this. <laughs> you need to get better. And you know what's really funny in the deleted scenes? Because he told, like, when Spider Man left, right? He's like, dude, I got ice cream in here. Like, but you oh. deserve it. <laughs> yeah. Well, they said that in the. No, that was in the movie. That wasn't in the deleted scene. No, right? no. I'm, but, like, after oh, that, okay. right? So he, he's stuck. He's trying to get his hand off this trunk. <laughs> he's trying to cut it. He pick up his key. He drops it, right? He's like, oh, dang it. And this lady walks by. He's like, hello. Uh, human being needs help over here. <laughs> <laughs> then he finally decide he calls on the phone he's like yeah I'm sorry Miles I'm not gonna make it he says that oh, line that they oh, deleted oh that is cool yeah cause he was sitting on the floor with a hand like this to the toilet yeah, yeah I'm sorry I, Miles I'm sure I saw it I forgot I yeah. forgot a lot of the 
please. Yeah, he said, I'm sorry, Miles. I'm not going to make it. That was so hey, funny. Hey, hey you're criminal. You get, you yeah, you're coming up. You deserve this. Then he just left. Oh, I would have put out the suit. The suit. <laughs> the suit that he, you know, because remember the suit, he, Tony Stark gives him a suit. Mm -hmm. Which earlier in the movie, remember when he fights a vulture and he gets dropped in the lake? Yes. That's he a cool scene, by the way. Like, you know, because like, awesome cause, you know, it's, awesome if he wasn't dressed as Spider-Man, because like it just worked well together. He was supposed to show up as Spider-Man also at Liz's party. Yes. And then it just happened that he saw that the weapon, the shocker was working the weapons. He saw the shocker with that first shocker. Yeah, the first shocker. And the second shocker. Yeah, and the second shocker. Right, so he went from a white man to a black man. <laughs> what a quiet transition. <laughs> It's, that's the way it works in the Marvel Universe. Okay? I guess it is. It's like, it doesn't matter who the race is, right? It just, you're the shocker now. Okay? Yeah, you're the shocker now. Well, <laughs> no, he does no. start off the dead shocker out of it. Yeah. And hand it over to him. You know, yeah, I want to talk about that weapon. So basically, they used that vaporizing weapon one time, and then that was it. Yeah, well, it was an accident. It was, because, like, he's talking about, like, an anti-gravity gun. I'm like, what would an anti-gravity gun do when you shoot something? Like, do they make them float? Yeah, they make you float. So it's, you feel helpless. But here's the thing that the, that scene is important because it just shows you the vulture is like oh yeah it's now he's a, he's already killed somebody it's no big deal yeah, it was no big deal to him yeah it's no big deal because he's tired of his you know BS yeah well I mean it just goes to show you that he he's not gonna, he's not gonna go oh Peter Parker <laughs> I'm gonna save your life no if you get in his way he's gonna kill you now. he's gonna kill you yeah I totally yeah. agree yeah this guy's a killer now. Definitely. This guy's this guy's already like this. Is like he's the boss, right? So I he's definitely the one to fear. It even yeah. in his own crew. Yeah, he is the one to fear. I mean, because he starts off with he's not somebody to fear when we first see him in the movie. No, he's the boss, but he lets people just whatever. You know what that scene reminds me of now? Now we're talking about is like Dog Vader, at yeah, bro. <laughs> Remember, he's like you're now the shot. You're I guess you're the shotgun. He's like, don't yep. fail me again. That bro, Damn. that's this. Like, he just kills that guy. Like, yeah, okay, you. Tells him, he tells him, you're the shocker now. Yeah, so shock somebody. <laughs> well, I also like it. Points out, he goes. So when he's talking about first shocker, yeah, he goes. So what are you, a wrestler? Remember the first Spider Man? Yes. The wrestlers. Yeah, like he's called a shocker. What is that? Oh, yes. Oh, that's a yes. good well, link. I'm that's just a good... reference to the the, the, the reference of the wrestler. Even in the comic book. Yeah, it is. He uh, he he fights a wrestler in the comic book. Yeah, he fights a wrestler. But he he's wearing like a dress suit and pants, though. You know, not like that thing that Toby yeah. wore. Yeah. But, you know what? But, but, I I forgot to tell about. I love that homemade suit. The homemade suit was cool. Like we you forgot to talk about that in Civil War. Yeah, the eyes thing. Yeah, the eyes is cool. But yeah, please, yeah. But I want to talk about the suit that Tony's. Tony Stark gave him because mm -hmm. remember he drops him in the water and he pulls him out of the water. Yes, he goes, the back to well, that's cool. You must have put a tracking device on it. He goes, I put everything. Yeah, even it's this the heater. That, that's the key word in this movie. You don't realize I put everything in your suit, including this heater. You include this heater. But he said I could put everything. But later on, we find out that it's been locked away from him. Yes. Because remember when Ned Hex into the suit and he finds the because uh, you remember he's always got a protocol. Tony Stark's got his protocol. The training wheels protocol, yes. Yeah, he gave him the training wheels. He also has the ba what was it, the baby monitor. The protocol. baby monitor is funny, yes. That's why I'm going to name this episode the baby monitor protocol. The baby monitor protocol. <laughs> He's like, of course, like, he gets a little mad. Yeah, <laughs> the training like, was like, he, come on. Goes, of, course he, of course he named it that. Yeah, like, come on. But anyways, with the training wheels, he takes the training wheels off. Yep. And then it turns out... Tony Stark did put everything in this. He did. It's kind of like an Iron Man is suit. Almost, is like an Iron Man suit. Because remember when he goes and tracks those guys, which I want to point out, the tracker is so awesome. Remember when he shoots that tracker out? Yeah. And it's a little tiny spider, and yeah. it actually walks. Because remember in the comic book, it's always just a spider that sticks to stuff. Yeah, it just sticks to stuff, yes. It just sticks to stuff. This one actually walked up. Walked up the guy's leg. Yeah. And he tracks him. And, this, and the thing is, then he realizes the suit has a voice. Yes. And the suit voice lady. is... Jennifer Connelly. So it's Jennifer Connelly who is married to uh, Paul Bethany. Who is Vision? Oh. It's so weird. It's Jarvis first. It's Jarvis, yeah, but like it's he a, did it's... all the voices for Jarvis because she's basically he, his Jarvis or his Friday. Yes. And of course, what's he name her? Karen. Karen. <laughs> Which if I mean is every meme now. Yeah, it's like it's every meme because like it, it stands for a B word. It is the most unpopular name. I know it is <laughs> right. <laughs> So he named the suit Karen. It's so funny. Like, I thought Tony would have named it something, but we never find out, like, what is the true name of the suit lady? 
I don't know. I'm sure she has some kind of acronym, but yeah, she's already named Karen now. Yeah, so like, oh, I feel like I'm, we're calling I'm, you. I'm sure lady. that if Tony finds out he named the suit Karen, he would be. He would tell him no. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> but I you mean, know, I was talking to my wife. Friday, yes, either, so. You know, so yeah. So you know, I was talking to my wife about the uh, the instant kill mode, right? And I, I my theory was like, hey, you know what I think about the instant kill mode because he's trying to protect the kid. Just in case, like, the, you know, Peter Parker is not out to kill, right? The suit would do it for him. So that way to keep yeah. him safe in a way. That's what my he thinking doesn't was. doesn't sleep like everybody else. So he just puts everything in there. I doubt he really even had a motive. He's like, I got to come up with a thousand modes. Well, I mean, come on. You're talking about a guy that built 43 suits in a couple of years. Well, it was probably more than that, obviously. Yeah, I mean, there are more suits he didn't even tell us about. He probably, didn't, he's probably like all the prototypes. It was 43 suits. in Iron Man 3. And it's been a long time from Iron Man three. Well, to we know this. the movie. He when when he dies, he's got number fifty. Oh, oh yes, that's right, fifty. So, but there's probably prototype suits he didn't name. Probably some suits he named Jonathan. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't give him a name. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. But the, like I'm saying, this guy puts everything in the air, more stuff than you need. Yeah, if he, he put a parachute in Spider Man suit, could build you a Swiss Army knife. It would have all kinds of. It'd have a flamethrower. in it. It has so much stuff for like a stealth mission, which a Spider Man is good at, cause you know. Yeah, but it has things he don't even need. But it's got like an interrogation mode. Interrogation mode, like different web shooting mode. That's crazy, yeah, right? It like changes his voice, got a stealth <laughs> mode. I mean, come on, it's got stuff that you'll never use. It's like it's like some car, expensive car, cause you'll be pushing crap on the steering wheel forever to figure out what it does. Yes, I met a witch lady, right? Like she she drove a Tesla. And then, like, she didn't like it. She went back to her BMW. And then, like, I told her to, like, do this $120,000 car, right? Like, the BM BMW, I can't remember what it is. Yeah. So, I, and Heather asked me, was something like, why would someone do that? Like, because we drove the Tesla, right? Why would we go from a Tesla to back to a BMW? So, I told her, like, well, obviously, you could tell she's rich, right? So, she's probably not used to technology, like, touch everything. So, you're probably used to the, like, the buttons and stuff. Like, the gizmos inside the old car that she's used to. Because, you know, change is hard. But not for Peter Parker. When you get a new suit, right? It's like, oh my god, this is awesome. Yeah, well, you know what my theory is? What? She probably didn't get the same reaction when she said BMW that she... So if I had a Tesla? You know, with the Tesla. Yeah, she probably got a Tesla and some people go, oh, that's cool. And then when she says BMW, people are like, oh. <laughs> that be your friend. Germans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tesla wasn't expensive enough for... No. But this is a multi-million dollar Spider-Man suit. Yeah, this is a this is something that I mean almost rivals the Iron Man suit. Yeah, because it's it's more agile in this one. It's it's more. Yeah, that's why you have a great advantage. Everything. But you can't fly. Of it records everything Spider Man does. Right, but you yeah, it records everything Spider Man does, but then it can't fly. Yeah, it can't fly. It can glide. But it yeah. has a parachute. So the parachute, right? You know why I love when um he asked Karen for the tutorial, like those things under the Spider Man. The Spider Man always had that. Yeah. Yes, he does. He, he does, and when he saw that, I was like, "Oh my god, they finally put that." Well, they can't make him fly yet because you know why? In the comic books, remember, isn't it Cosmic Spider Man that can fly? Cosmic Spider Man that can fly. Oh, I'm so glad you remember Cosmic Spider Man. I I, mean, I know Spider-Man. Cosmic Spider Man. Yes. I don't know. I mean. I mean, there's a lot of room. I hope Tom Holland sticks around because there's so much they could do with it. The only disappointment in it, I mean, and this is probably a disappointment I should probably put in a different movie, Venom. He should be the symbiote. He should get the symbiote. Yes. I want to see him get the symbiote. And he could have got the symbiote because he does actually go to another planet where he could have picked up the symbiote. Yes, because he always been to space. And they missed this because somebody, Sony had to go ahead and do a Venom movie before they could have got to it. They could have done it proper. Hey, you know what? they always rushing into things. That's why they add, they, they didn't ask. They told they Sam ask. Raimi to put Venom in the third movie. Well, that's even the though, same thing, though. Yeah. But I'm talking about now. I mean, for the MCU, they could have hold, held off on the Venom movie. They don't want to. They could have had, when he went to, uh, when he went to space, the fight, he could have picked up the symbiote. Yes. Or somebody, they could have, or they could have picked up the symbiote and he finds it later when he when he when he reappears. Back but you know Earth. what? Sony's then just then trying to. But Sony's just trying to cash it in. He's like, oh, no, Spider Man hype! You gotta bring him back, okay. Venom. No, no. No, no, Sony shouldn't do anything until Marvel tells them to. <laughs> Marvel can make. No, that's the thing. It sounds ridiculous, but let me t- tell you: if somebody can make you billions of dollars, 
Would you just like maybe just wait and listen? That's different. I don't have that Sony pride, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I don't have that Sony pride. Oh, because my cameras are in. I don't like Sony. That's why I own so many Sony TVs. You know what? We've been gone so long into this. Sony is Samsung, dude. (laughs) So, this has already been an hour, right? And I'm gonna. I haven't not uh, crap on Sony yet. Sony needs to give up Spider Man. Okay, they need to give up. They they just announced Craven, right? The Hunter. I know. Why? I rather see Quicksilver. Why? Just leave it alone. I kind of just want to punch that, 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 uh, that. I just want to punch Aaron, whatever his name is. Just, oh, go, go do Quicksilver. So I was watching this movie, right? Hey, I want to point out your shirt because I, I have the overlay. Can you pull up your shirt? The science. Yeah. Heck yeah. But um, <clears throat> I was reading about um the production of No Way Home, right? And they said somewhere, like it's a, a Sony executive said that that they they have some way. Where to tie Tom Holland Spider Man, where he could work with Sony Spider Man and uh, Marvel Spider Disney at the same time. So he said that, okay? Yeah. Because the, uh, he also said that though, there's no way home, right? So I told Heather, if this guy, right, lies, I'm gonna spend all my life savings just to find him so I could punch him in the face. <laughs> so I'm gonna say this right now. If he disappoints me, right? Just like Sony has every single movie that they make with, with regarding a superhero, I'm gonna find this guy. I'm gonna be like Liam Neeson. I'm gonna punch him nope. in the face. Punch I'm very angry at Sony. It's gonna be like Jane Silent Bob. We're gonna go to his house. Ding dong. Yes, Sony is the Wait, Chick Fil A uh, for me. Are, yeah, are you Sony? Uh, <laughs> and did you say this about during the No Way Home production? You did. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> throw the script away. Yeah, throw <laughs> Bam, bam, bam. We have to get back on the airplane. How many times do I have to say, like, not just me. A lot of people agree that Sony just needs to give it back to Disney. They need to sell it back to Disney. Everything. Just yeah. give up. I'm thinking, here's the thing. All, if, if they could just do this. If they could just talk to Disney, or mainly just Marvel, before they go make another movie, and maybe get some assistance... And maybe give them some of the money, but maybe we'll get up. Maybe they'll make even more money. I feel like we're really jumping ahead of guns. Maybe they did. Did we just don't know about it? And maybe when oh, they okay. released, like maybe before they signed Craven the Hunter, right? They already talked to yeah. Disney, and maybe they're gonna tie it in somehow. Let me, but we let never me know. It this way, they're not. <laughs> yeah, they, if, if they if they had something to do with the Venom movie and, and let it go, I'm gonna like, oh no, who, who had something to do with that? Nobody it wasn't, at no. Nobody at Disney is going to raise your hand. I promise yeah. you. Like they're what? all going to look at each other and go, <laughs> "Sony's stupid." Sony is stupid. <laughs> the S stands for stupid. Is that what it stands for? Oh, that's Columbia. I wish I wish they'd bust, bust off. But hey, oh well. Disney yeah. can't own everyone. Or we won't have anything to watch. Oh, we don't have anything to complain about. Oh yeah, well we won't have anything to mind about. That, yeah. We just won't have anything to talk about. Because after No Way Home, right? This is Tom Holland's last contract with the, just the Spider-Man character. Yeah, well, he better sign the next contract because I hate to have fly to his house too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna fly to his house because he's done such a good job. I'll fly to that Sony executive's house. I'll find it's this like, guy. Hey, and you're gonna talk to uh, Tom Holland. And you're gonna get him to sign the contract. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go with the movie because yes. uh, threats are not really our thing. Ranting time is over. <laughs> Ranting time. Well, <laughs> we've got more stuff to rant about. Yes. Oh, yeah. The greatest thing in this movie. Even, I mean, even my cousin pointed out this. Unexpected. When Peter Parker asks Liz to the dance <gasps> and he shows yes. up at her house. Yes. You didn't think that. You did not think that was her dad, did you? No, nobody did. Because yeah. okay, the only ways yeah. I said yeah. that right because Liz, I guess, is black. Yes. And at the point at the monument, right? We'll talk about that scene later. Her mom is black. You know, yeah. automatically, you know, people like to think like it's just she's a uh, black parents, okay? Yeah, that's what you. That's what you think. But then when oh my god, in the movie theater, dude, I was so thrown off. That's when you even realize like every minute of this movie, right? Disney did a great thing. Disney did a great thing. Disney did a great, great thing. And then oh. at that moment, like, this is the best thing ever. Yes, because, you know, that moment could have been a Mandarin moment, but it was Yeah, you're right. Oh, This is how you do surprises. You, I don't know if the, yes. Who was the director, Shane Black? Hey, Shane Black. Uh, <laughs> if you're watching 
watch that movie. If you watch Spider Man, this is how you do surprises. The audience doesn't get mad, they get happy. I was so overjoyed when yeah, Michael Keaton. I think I Heather was so surprised too because you know, it was like, <gasps> I know, because it's like, now what are you gonna do? Yeah, like, and then it follows that Spider Man theme. All the villains of Spider Man, right, is somehow close to him. Peter Parker yes. is not like a stranger, except for Sandman, <laughs> you know, in the in in this in the in in the Sony thing. Yeah, in the Sony. Thing. Oh no no no! It ties to him. He killed Uncle Ben. Yeah, well, they yeah eventually, but yeah. let's forget that. Okay? Yeah, forget that. Let's talk about the great remember. one. That's, that's history that never happened. That's alternate <laughs> universe that we don't even live in. <laughs> Well, we did, but we don't anymore. I don't think we gave up the rent for more than five minutes. We're already going back to it. Yeah, we already did. It's just solely in Spider-Man. You took us back. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, Yeah, I am sorry. That's another reason I I don't like, I didn't like the third one. And I don't like the second one still. But hey, I mean, come on, the Vulture is, is so good. No, it was a beautiful, like, so let's get back to that. I, I do want to talk about that monument moment. Like, you know, he got stuck um, fighting the vulture the second time yeah. with a truck, and well, he got stuck in that. It's weird, though. Yeah, because it's kind of weird that, okay, Spider-Man's in New York. Everybody knows Spider-Man's in New York. And then all of a sudden, he's in Washington, Yeah, he's D. in D.C. And then later on in the next movie, he's in Europe. Yeah. How can the people, those kids, not think that maybe somebody uh, in the groups? Spider-Man, the only one that figured it out was MJ, remember? Yeah, she, well, I think she already knows now because it's kind of weird. I think she knew in the first one. Do you think Liz fi- figured out that he might be Spider-Man? No, I, I don't think Liz is that smart. I don't know. Because like, there's so much going on with her, right? She probably didn't yeah. even try to think about yeah, that. Yeah, you're right. Just, yeah, her dad's just going to prison. Remember, so. even, even when uh, MJ you know, was at that scene when they were practicing for the for the uh, championship or whatever? Yeah. She's like... Oh, he already quick banned in that other class, and oh, everybody's yeah, looking at her like, "Oh, I'm not obsessed with him. I'm just observing." I'm just observing. <laughs> yeah, she, she sees everything because she's always sitting everywhere he's at. Yeah, she always had that like face, like when they're sitting at the table, Ned and him are sitting at the table, and they're looking at Liz. Hey, did we ever see that sweater before? Yeah, yeah, she, but not with that skirt. And yeah, no, goes, that's because of course you hear. He goes, "Let's quit looking before it's creepy." And then you hear, you hear this voice. It's already creepy. They look over, and there's EMJ sitting at the end of the table. Like, then why are you sitting next to us? <laughs> I have yeah. no friends. I have no friends. Same thing. She pops up at the party. Remember, she's at the party, and they like. I know, like, why like, like you come to this crappy party. Like you're here. <laughs> she goes, "Am I really?" She just walks up. <laughs> well, we know she is keeping a notebook. On everything that Peter Parker does. I know. That, that's, it's actually creepy, right? Even if for the first he time we see him, her. She probably saw him strip down to his Spider-Man underoos. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then climb up a building. I mean, come on. You know what's my favorite part with MJ was? When they actually show up to the homecoming dance and then she flicked him off. <laughs> yeah. That was... I was I was totally unexpecting that either. <laughs> this movie is so great. <laughs> You know, I also want to put out, though, because it just made me think when we said that, did you see the girl with, I guess it's probably blonde hair, but it looks white. She's okay. got the long white hair. You see her in the beginning of the movie, she walks behind him. And then at the homecoming, when he walks in the door, she walks in behind him. Almost looks like uh, Hardy, uh, the black cat. The black cat. Because, <gasps> I mean, in the comic book, he meets her in college, but she could have went to his high school. Yeah, because all the characters are thrown off here. I don't know if the scene was intentional. <gasps> is that oh, so? Is that the one that you were pointing out the back, uh, the villain? Is that I the other one? This, I wasn't pointing at. The, yeah, this wasn't the villain I was thinking of. Oh, okay. But I just noticed she was in there. I don't know if it was intentional or not. But you see her a couple times, and she's got this long, and I think it's maybe just blonde, really blonde hair. It's so blonde, it looks white. Oh. At the theater, when I see it, it looked white to me. That's not. Oh my god, it's a black hat. Yes. Ooh, I never noticed. I didn't notice it. Yeah, I mean, I saw it because it was like this. It's just this looks like white hair. There's not too many people with white hair. Huh? Maybe it looks. Maybe it is blonde. But I just I noticed it. And I thought could that be? Could they put that in there just to let you think of the black cat? It's sure they they might have because you picked up on it. Because like it's just too over too much of a coincidence, right? Yeah, it just seems weird. Yeah. It's like, oh, how's this girl? There's a girl walking in behind him, just walks behind him a lot. Yes. What's her name? What's Black Cat's name? I can't remember right now. Uh, Felicity? Felicia Hardy? Yeah, Felicity, right? Felicity Hardy? Yeah. yeah. 
Felicity Hardy. So yeah, the black cat. The black cat. I'm sure it's just, eh, who knows? There's, I mean, there's so much stuff hidden in this movie that nobody will ever notice. No. I mean, like the guy with the boom box. Who would have ever known the guy with the boom box was Star Trek IV? I don't know. I mean, I had to look it up to see if it's the same actor. And it is oh, you actually actor. look, so you already yeah, suspected. I looked, I looked it, I suspected it. So I looked it up. Okay. Like, I remember this. Yes. Because I'm like, why is there a guy with a boom box standing out there yelling, yeah, Spider-Man? Oh, sweet. Well, also, the, the there's also a good scene is the, re, the interaction between Tony and Spider-Man. In which scene? Which one? Oh, all the all the scenes. Oh, all the scene. Even though when he was in India. Yeah, even when he was in India, remember? Because he's in India. Because mm-hmm. you think that at first when he pops up, he goes, oh, I'm not really here. So you think, because nobody's been answering him stuff, and Happy doesn't want anything to do with him. You're thinking, well, maybe Tony blew him off. Well, you find out Tony Denver blew him off. No. He, he does listen. Every, listen to every phone call he calls. He should you just eat the cherry and be your new. Yeah. Plus, they are kind of not bringing him up. Yes. You know? But I mean, it's, I mean, Tony Stark told him, I want you, he goes, I'm trying to be like you. He goes, I want you to be better than me. Yes. In a way, and it, it is because Tony sees this kid has what Tony can't, doesn't really have. Tony has a suit. Tony's a smart guy and he can fight without the suit because we've seen it. If we made a joke, oh, Tony's nothing without the suit, but Tony is something without the suit. Cause we He's saw very uh, Iron Man. clumsy without the suit though. It's yeah, kind of showed in Iron Man 3. Yeah, but he can do stuff. He can yeah. get something done. Because, I, mean, I mean, he's still he's still a hero without it now. Yes. But he will never be the hero Peter Parker can be because Peter Parker's got superpowers. Yes. I mean, he can mold this guy with superpowers into something better. Yes. Because he's already been with the Avengers. He sees what the Avengers can be. Mm-hmm. They do whatever they want, basically. they got superpowers. They don't always follow his lead. And, and, of course, Tony's not the best guy to be telling somebody what to do. But sometimes it's best. I mean, somebody can't can tell you give you good advice mm-hmm. i agree no but yeah but that, that's the that's i mean it's, it's coming up at that point because remember when we go to the uh the what do you call that a ferry yeah the ferry yeah the ferry scene yeah yeah and then of course the boat splits in half oh. he says well, of course you got that guy yeah spider-man yeah. just that reminds me of spider-man too right there yeah that does right with the charm so some way yeah and then of course it splits back open and the iron man pushes it together and saves the day yeah. but then then this is the best scene because you know he lands there and of course Peter Parker's all upset and he's like you're not even here and then boom he's no here. he said if you care you wouldn't be here and then then he pops out that was a good surprise too so yeah, Shane Black so you know he did Iron Man three right so Shane Black take a note of this one too take another note of this you should just watch it. there's a lot just, of good surprises in you this should movie get schooled on this movie yeah because yeah he pops out and he's like I mean even Peter Parker's face is like whoa. And he goes, yes, I am here. And then he's like, hey, you can't take my suit. I'm nothing with a suit. You're nothing with a suit. Because the thing is, the suit really isn't nothing. It's just a helper. He's a helper, know? yeah. Isn't it? Like a butler. Peter Parker already has powers. Yes. They're in him. It's not the suit doesn't do anything for him. No, the suit just it, helps him like like little stuff. But, I mean, the problem is, so he puts on the regular suit. But the scene also, there's another scene that's important to this. No, wait, wait, wait. I want to talk about the same scene, though. Because he said, okay. he told Peter, like, I was the only one who believed in you. Who yes. do you think called the FBI? Yeah. Because well, he also alluded to that later on. Remember when he's chasing the Vulcan and he lands in the lake? He goes, you should have called the proper authorities. He's like the Avenger. He goes, no, pay grade. Yeah, the pay grade is still there. So he was always talking about it. And he did. He he, he heard about the, the vultures, so he called the FBI to investigate. Yes. Of course, Peter Parker got in the way. He made a big mess out of it. Yep. And, of course, nobody got killed. But the thing is, basically, he's telling him he needs to be a hero. Uh, yeah, be a, a hero. And there's a scene that almost happens a lot of stuff because it's a very important scene. Uh, it was actually a very important panel in the comic book a long time ago where the building, remember he fights a vulture at the end and he knocks, brings the building down on Peter Parker? Yes. And he's crushed. We see this a lot. Well, I, 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 I remember the comic book I read that in too because yes. in that I mean, comic book, Peter didn't even believe himself he, he can do it. Yeah. Because yeah, cause he's got the building and he looks in the water puddle and he sees, and it was in the movie. The, yes. In the, the other movies, yeah. it's a It was a very big because he I mean, spider-man is like, a uh is, he's very strong and powerful yes it's been recapped several times yes. so of course the building falls on he almost gives up thinks he's stuck and he needs help mm-hmm. and he realizes i just picked the building up i don't need help no he doesn't and then saves all the stark's hardware yes yeah is he saves he... happy's job 
And of course, Happy loves guy. this kid. Happy loves this kid. And I love it because they're both buddies now. <laughs> That's I like the ending, you know, because he goes into he's like happy's like has him meet him in the restroom. Okay, so in. I want to talk about that scene because so now we're talking about it, right? Yeah. He used to be head of security. How how did he not know there was a kid inside using the toilet? No, <laughs> oh, kid plays chess. So. That made such an awkward moment when he comes like yeah. he looks at him strange and then washing his hands. <laughs> yeah, he just walks in and he, he kind of walks out the door. Yeah, they're both looking at him. The kid, the kid turns around and looks at him funny when they yeah, walk Yeah, when he walked away, yes. And of course, they leave the restroom. They didn't even meet in the restroom. I don't know what they even meet in. You know, because as soon as he gets in there, he's like, hey, let's go get in the car and go for a ride. Yeah, he could just met outside. Yeah, you're he right. He him outside. Yes. Of course, I love that scene because, you know, that's when they, they're sitting at the table and MJ's like, so where are you going, Peter? Yeah, what are you hiding? No, I'm <laughs> kidding. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but she does. She can see her. She wrote oh, it in yeah. a little notebook. Yes. I'm not sure if anybody's got a notebook and write stuff. So, <clears throat> I forgot where we're going to go now. <laughs> no, we can go to the Avengers. He, no. He goes to we, let's go back to the scene that when the door opened, is the vulture. Because he was freaked out the whole time, remember? Peter Parker, when it, when does he start oh, finding out that? go back to when he goes to the house. Yeah, when he goes in the house. The house that we already saw they have a party at. Yes. Those people wouldn't have been partying at the house that they would have known that his dad was a psycho. Yes. That that's why they hit us so well. Yes. I mean, come on, because we've already been in the house. You don't you because know, you don't think no. this is gonna happen. And he comes to the door and he's like, What are you gonna do? Yes. And the best scene though is after, you know, because it's all awkward. It's all awkward, have, right? He's like you know, the whole having a heart attack just, the whole time. Even yeah, when he was taking saying, a picture, he kept looking at him. Yeah, and of course, you know, the dad's like it. I like this kid because he's scared of me. Yes. Because he's scared of me. Yes. But then they get in the car ride. Oh, that was. And, oh, that's the best deal. That was so face. intense, right? Like Wait, when, you get, when you can tell Michael Keaton, realize he is it's Spider-Man. Hard believe, it's hard to believe that Keaton started off as a comedic actor. Yes. Well, kind of like so, Tom Hanks in a way, right? Look at all the roles that Tom Hanks plays yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this thing was even more, he was even more comedic than Tom Hanks, I feel like. Yeah, and then, like, it wouldn't be weird to see Tom Hanks to play a villain. Because Michael yeah. Keaton, like, you're right, Michael Keaton is a comedic actor. And I don't know. Because now what we've got, do you think that Tom Hanks could, pair, pair, could pull it off? Because he's been such a good guy in everything that we've seen. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean. Oh, dude, he played I, Mr. I'm gonna Rogers. Keaton, I'm going to say Keaton. I'm going to say Keaton's been a good, it's been a, it's been a good actor. I mean, a, a good guy too, but he's never been. I mean, Batman had a dark side. Yes, we've already seen him in roles where he had kind of a dark side. We saw Robocop, where he was kind of a villain. Yes. So I mean, it wasn't, and I mean, he just did it so well. So, but we've seen, we've seen, we've seen Tom Hanks being such a good guy, like Mr. Exactly, Mr. He played Mr. Rogers. Like, what is a better actor to play Mr. Rogers than it Tom would be, would be, Hanks? I'm not gonna say he can't be a, a good villain. Oh, it's because good. because like no one want to typecast him that way. But it's going to be hard to watch him. It's, it's going to be very hard. It actually might be pretty good. It's kind of like Leslie Nielsen, right? He played all these action serious movies, right? And then you see him in Nick a Gun. Yeah. Yeah. He went from action to, to comedy. To comedy. But then, like, we never well, knew. It's like, thing. It's like a. Who am I thinking? I mean, a lot of com- comedy actors. Come That's out. all I was going to say. Like, a comedic actor, right, has that range. I think Tom you Hanks can do it. You normally don't. I mean, he's still surprising to you when you see. Yes, it. no, yeah. Michael Keaton. He, they, whoever cast Michael Keaton in this did a great yeah. job, and it better yes. not be the same Sony executive. Okay, it's probably not him. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have to go back to that guy. It could be that guy. You're gonna have to. You're gonna no, have to like... casting is not his job. Okay, it's okay. it's uh, some kind of Karen lady. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that whoever got got him to do this, because you know a lot of people would probably go, "Eh, he was Batman. He don't want to do this." No, but he gives it and he's awesome. The role is so much greater for for I this. Can, I can see this though. I can't wait to see him as Batman again. Yes, yeah. The older Batman is more bitter. Maybe we'll see. I mean, because I don't know. But then it could be a quick scene though, so you don't know. Well, you don't know. Well, plus it could have a crappy director and stuff. Because yeah, that's saw, the thing. Yep. We already saw uh, them ruin a good. This DC is DC. Stuff. I mean, like yeah. a live action DC. So it's hard to say. They could ruin it. I mean. I mean, Tim Burton's not going to be there, so. 
Yes, and as apparently Nolan's, yeah, and you mean Christopher uh, Nolan's also not going to be there. Christopher Nolan's not going to be there, and, and Zack Snyder's not even going to be there. So it's going to be horrible. I don't know. So Michael Kitten said yes. Maybe he just like to do these roles. No, I want to see it. I want to see it. But yeah, this was so good, especially with the, the green light. You can see the green light on his face. Yeah. Yo, I know at that part with the, the traffic light. When he picks it up. I like it when he picks it up. When he picked it up, he's like, oh. Yes. I'm so funny. It's so funny. Like when you said Liz didn't know, right? Sue's the one who pointed these out. And Sue didn't realize. Because like, you know what? I think these kids, right? Like Liz, they think Spider-Man is a man in his 30s. Well, they do think. Because remember the scene where uh, they're working out with Ned? Yeah. And they're they're doing the, the who would you marry? Who would you sleep yep. with? game and of course Nana jump up I know Peter knows Peter Spider-Man. knows Spider-Man yes before that, you remember they're going they're talking about them and they go like how about Spider-Man and then one of the girls is like oh he's probably 33 yes the, in his 30s yes and you know what's really funny I thought they made a reference to Deadpool because like he could be all burned they did, they did make it they did make it because he could all be because you don't know he looks like another mask he could be all burned that was a Deadpool yeah see that's what I was like I thought like isn't that a Deadpool reference yeah, they made a lot of references. Like, they do, know, like, they're hitting a lot of stuff for us, yes. But yes, and of course, uh, you know, so the the dad is, like, is awesome. And then the daughter gets out of the car, and of yes. course he reaches in the glove part and pulls that pistol out. Oh, the pistol out. He, he, wasn't, <laughs> he, he, he was going to kill him, but he said he, he wasn't because he saved his daughter. Yeah, because he saved his daughter. And like he said, well, the thing is, like you said, most family is part family, yep. So as long as you stay out of my way, Yep. I let you. I let you live. He goes, and you need to thank me for saving your life. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he was you like, thank, like you thank you. Thank me for You're saving welcome. your life. And of course, he's like, thank you, sir. At the end, Spider Man saved his life again. Yep, it does. He so saved. you think that he did that to um that um the the scorpion? He's like, oh, I don't know who he is. Or maybe he just said that to save it for himself. No, I think he because he didn't want the scorpion to kill him. Ah, uh, he wanted to do it himself. I don't think he wants to kill Peter Parker. You know? Oh, okay. Peter Parker, I mean, I think he, he I, I mean, I think the thing is, all right, we think he wants to kill Peter Parker, but I think he ended up with a little more respect for Peter Parker because he saved his daughter, and then he saved his life. He saved his life. This guy ain't a killer. This guy's a good kid. Yeah. I mean, even a killer can respect that. Yes. I want to... I mean, because wanna... you got to think off. Because you got to remember, Michael Keaton didn't start off as bad. I mean, his character didn't. Start no, off he didn't. He's no. a hard working guy. He's a hard worker. You know what? Let's talk about that. I, I want to go back to Flash Thompson, right? But let's talk about that because the first time, or the, at the end, when uh, Peter finds him, he's trying to explain why he's doing this, and I, I agree with um, the Vulture at that point. Like, hey, you're right. They sit up. Like, how did you think uh, Tony made all that money by yeah, selling okay. weapons to? It doesn't matter who it was. Yeah, he just so yeah, he's yeah, he and he, and he's like you said, he don't care about guys like us. No, they don't, and I, I agree. He made a good point. He made a good point. No, I like. At it. the same time, he's just trying, and I like it because, and I'm telling you the truth. Plus, I want you to know how things are, and I'm keeping you busy so I can get my yes. But I mean, yeah, he made a good point for himself. He did he made an excellent point for himself. But you know, I mean, it feels like Parker could. It feels like um, it feels like this Spider Man could pick up Jonathan. Yeah, he could to a point, but uh, I mean, he's still too young. He's still too young. That's the thing. He's still too young. He'd make a lot of mistakes like Thor did in his younger days. But uh, his decision right there, right? Like, even though Vulture is right, you know, I would have definitely side with the Vulture <laughs> because most people so, would. I mean, because yeah. that's way longer. I mean, because a lot of people, who likes, you can only get kicked around so long before you want to fight back. Yes. It's, but like, the thing is, they'll do the right thing in the end. Doing the right thing sucks. We say it all the time. Doing the right thing yeah, sucks, the right man. Thing sucks. Sometimes uh, you you get rewarded. You get uh, you can walk on walls and stuff. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't happened to me yet. I think it will. Yeah, you're right. Doing the right thing sucks. You can walk on walls. You can strain to a tiny little and eh, you know, yeah, just it just hasn't happened to us yet. Suit, yeah. Too. Well, you I wouldn't say him. doing the right thing sucks and putting on the Iron Man suit. I wouldn't go that far. Because, no, I don't think Iron Man does the right thing. Well, he tries to do the right thing. That's the difference. The right thing, and that's all you can do. So, yes. hey, didn't, didn't you know, sometimes trying to do the right thing is all that matters. Yeah, trying to do the right thing sucks, too. I would pat you on the back and give you a gold star if you tried to do the right thing. Oh, trying to do the right thing sucks, too. <laughs> so I'm going to give you an Iron Man suit. So. <laughs> But Iron Man, I mean, he does, he is the hero. He does the right thing. I mean, come on. 
He's a big, he's a big hero still. Yes. I don't care how angry and how many demons he creates. I mean, he didn't really, he didn't push Tombs, the vulture, no. into being a bad guy. Just, no, it's Iron Man. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, he just snapped. I mean, he finally got tired of stepping on. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't Tony Stark didn't go, hey, I'm just going to take this guy's That was the last straw in a way, yeah. He never talked about it. Yeah, I mean, Tombs hit the last straw. I mean, people do that. They snap. Yeah. Boom. Of course, he got saved. I mean, he's, he's he, I mean, because he even gave up on killing Spider-Man. When he finally, when at the end, you know, grabs that stuff, he's like, I don't care about it. But then Spider-Man's trying to save his life because Spider-Man doesn't kill people. I mean, no. Most superheroes don't kill people. And I don't oh. know this changed a lot in superhero movies now. Because uh, and this has always bothered me about superhero movies up until this point. The villains always get killed. The uh, okay, West the West Skull uh, we don't know West Skull get killed. Well, not in Marvel movies. They always most of them survive. There's some get killed, but most of them survive. But remember like Batman. They kill uh the Joker at the end. Yes. I'm like a lot of the villains always got killed at the end of this. All Penguin. the Batman movies. Penguin like gets killed. Every, yes, almost every Batman movie. Except for Catwoman. Be, yeah, Catwoman, and we don't really know what happens to no. her. No. Max Listen. gets killed from ba- uh, Batman Returns. Yeah. Well, we, we saw, yeah, almost everybody always gets killed in all the movies. And, they all, and Does I mean, the Riddler get killed? The Riddler was crazy. But yeah, it went crazy. Died. Two-Face dead. Yeah, Two-Face dies. Because he fell to... Uh, no, uh, Arnold doesn't die. Mr. Freeze doesn't die. Okay. Well, they finally Poison Ivy. Oh, because uh, you know what? By that point, it, it turned too kiddish by that point. Yeah. But that's why people start... And then I think if people finally realize you can't kill off the villains because you might need them in the future. Yes. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to kill off all the villains. But I know at the point, it seemed like every movie, when they had a like, subtitle, subtitle hero to kill, except for like even in... Uh, Ego dies. We talked about that last time. Ego well, dies. Ego died, yeah. Well, there's some several people died off in the uh, Marvel universe. Yeah. Because we know Ego gets killed. Whiplash gets killed. Uh, Robert Ruffer gets killed. Robert Ruffer gets killed. Uh, Killian gets killed. Yes, Killian gets killed. I mean, so basically in this Marvel deal, they've killed everybody too. But it doesn't really make that much sense. No. Especially since Spider-Man doesn't kill people. He usually always tries to He almost always saves Trying to save people, yeah. He always saves the villains. But, I mean, in all the other ones, he saves the villains. Yes. He tries. Not somebody for killing. Just I like mean, Daredevil. Yeah. Killing is wrong. Now, the Punisher. <laughs> oh, okay. As long as you talk about Punisher, hey, right? Like, Heather loved this so much when Ned was that. He asked for the guy in the chair, right? And then when I said, like, we were just, like, a couple of hours ago. And I said, Punisher also has a guy in the chair. <laughs> She's like, really? Yeah. yeah. He's also kind of nerdy. <laughs> he's also, he, well, he's not kind of nerdy. He is nerdy. <laughs> but I say it like that, but you know, like, he's definitely nerd. <laughs> because if you think about it, it doesn't make sense. Like, how can, not even Spider-Man or Punisher, how do you do all that stuff, right? Without like a person at the Recon base, you're like, hey, this is what's happening, you know? You know, it, it doesn't make sense. This It's not a DC movie, okay? <laughs> well, I, I mean, uh, Batman has a person in yeah, the chair. Yeah, Batman also have a person in the chair. Oracle. Yeah, ooh. Used to be Batgirl. Yes. So, yeah, you gotta have a person in the chair. Yep. All right, so I want to bring it to Flash Thompson, because you know he's a jerk, right? I want to li- yeah. list all the lines I remember that from him, like, oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? He never even met Tony Stark. Yeah. And he said, like, oh, you know what? I would do this thing, but I got a date with Black Widow. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, when, when they, he tells him that. Yeah. And of course, the kid, ding. That is false. And, uh, yeah. and then the part in the elevator in the monument. And he's like, like everybody at the uh, at the elevator and Spider-Man falls through the thing. Right? He's like, do you really know Peter Parker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where did that come from who lets a kid right after all that happened into the scene where you know or that cracking thing I mean because they're probably I mean the kid's a jerk they're probably hoping he'd fall down the elevator I was gonna <laughs> they don't know he's a jerk how yeah, why do. did that thing activate in the, the monument because they, they, they um Karen said you need a higher amount of oh, radiation like, okay yeah and he goes through the metal uh went through the uh metal oh thing. that's well, right I'll check what is it x-ray machine the, the x-ray, x-ray machine the radiation is- High amount of radiation. Yes. So you don't want to stick your hand in there. Yes. It just took a while uh, for it to get, uh, get up there. Yep. That's right. So it, it turned it on, and as it went up, it finally boom. Ah. Exploded. 
And of course, Spider Man had to uh, jump over a helicopter and fly through a window. Yes, so mo- to gain the momentum. I know it's really funny. I like that he ran to <laughs> ran to that place. He's running with a backpack on <laughs> just to get to the monument. <laughs> it's not even the first time in that movie. He was running to people's backyard and stuff <laughs> because yeah. there's nothing to swing. <laughs> Well, yeah, because you know in the comic books you always see him swinging. He gets everywhere by swinging. Yes. But you remember when it starts off with the parties running through the park? This sucks. Yeah, this sucks. Because <laughs> there's nothing to hook on, so you can't really get anywhere. He broke someone's treehouse, and then at the same time, the next thing he broke someone's shed. <laughs> yeah, he just busted everything. And he must... scared those girls camping. Hey, with his eyes on us. Oh, and uh, one of the people were having a backyard uh, cookout party, and then like that's a movie yeah. playing. Uh, do you know what that oh, movie was? Oh, Ferris Bueller's Day. That's off. what I thought. Ferris Bueller's Day off, and um, it's like kind of mimicking that movie. He's like, "How yeah, a great movie!" <laughs> yeah, it's playing that music. That is so funny. Where he splashes those girls. Remember when he hits that bull? <laughs> yes, I love it. Um, Flash. Oh, I was talking about Flash, right? He talks so much trash. See, I told you we could win from our pocket. Like you didn't even answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Parker gets his revenge. Remember, he comes up there in the alley. Yes, and then he, he takes steals, steals his that, car. Steals his car. Well, it wasn't an alley. It was all at the front of the school. No, an Audi. The car was an Audi. Oh yes. Oh yes. 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 I didn't say alley. I always say alley. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> it was Audi. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, it's an Audi. Yes. Audi. 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 <laughs> yes, Audi. I like that. Like, um, you know, it's really funny when they, they were driving the car. They didn't know how to turn the headlights, right? So they yeah, had to look so up the manual and like, the manual. is this a really important conversation you have right now? <laughs> Just to turn the knob on the left. It was very important. Come on, he's driving down the road without headlights. Yeah, you know what? Because he's 15. I thought in a car like that, they have auto. Like, it's no automatic headlights. But I guess it's you don't have to turn don't. it on. No. I mean, you don't have to turn it on. There's a lot of cars you get in. You got to find the headlights because you do. depending on what it is, the headlights aren't always on the steering wheel. Sometimes just fart, like on my pickup. Oh, it's on. A, yeah, it's on a switch. Yeah. They're farther down on the uh, up under on the dash. The dash. Yep. So you got sometimes sometimes you get a car is like where are the headlights? Yeah. And it's not auto. I know a lot. Like I've been on cars. Lot. They're never nothing is ever in the same place. No. I'm like even the direction that this is moving. I mean, like in my Toyota, I got to flip my headlights go this way and this way and then my wife first go uh down oh come on and you go up to turn them off so i'll get my pickup my board so i gotta remember this the flashes are this way or the uh the The light flashes on the left oh my god here and then my then i gotta remember to move it up to turn the windshield wipers on and not down oh oh that's so and of course the toilet you don't have to touch lights no it automatically comes on. But in the pickup, if you don't remember, you're driving down the street without any lights on. Oh, dang. My yeah, Honda does yeah, that, yeah. too. My uh, my van, you could turn it to auto mode. I mean, you could yeah. do it manually, yeah. but they give you, you, you the turn, You can turn the pickup to auto mode. Yeah. But, I mean, the car, you never have to touch a headlight switch at all. Because mm. it automatically comes on. Yeah, you should automatically. Like, especially so, in so if you get in your vehicle and forget that they're not automatically on, yeah. you wonder, hey, why is everything dark? Yeah. Especially in Aldi, you know, you would think that like that they have that technology, like oh, you don't have to worry about this anymore. Okay, just worry about driving. I don't know. The more expensive a car is. Were they know? driving it? What, what was he driving? Was it a TT? No, it was bigger than a TT. I don't know. Oh, then it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it wasn't an R eight like Tony Stark. Oh, it's not an R eight, no. But yeah, anyways, he driving and wreck it. Yes, it's so funny because <laughs> he they flipped on the side. Right. Serves that guy right. <laughs> Well, exactly I, I like it plus you know so what are you doing in here to uh, uh i was watching porn <laughs> so it's so funny because <laughs> we watched this with my kids right like ethan picked up like what is porn <laughs> how was ethan he was four. <laughs> oh, he was about to turn four because uh it came out yeah. on fourth of july yeah <laughs> and your answer was I was like, it's nothing. Some people like very much. It's, it's nothing. We were in the theater. Oh, you're in the theater. Right? <laughs> what is porn? That's even better. <laughs> like, yeah. if you think about it, like, a Spider-Man movie is something that you take your kids to. Like, even this yeah. next one, I'm taking my kids to it. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't, I don't blame you. It's a Spider-Man movie. But I'm like, the, 
Anybody, did anybody out there in the theater turn around and look at you? Well, you know, they have the stadium seating. It's hot, and we were sitting in the... Uh, oh, yeah, it's just so funny. Porn. Uh, porn. What is that, Dad? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's so great. You know, we never touch on the scene where, like, when Tony touched back, uh, got the suit back, he was always sad and upset about it. But he gets to do more of a kid stuff again. Once that suit is taken away from him. Yeah. Did you notice that? He finished building the Death Star with uh, Ned. Well, yeah. Well, he had a... Well, he, he was out of the internship. Yeah. So he didn't he didn't spend all his time trying to get back in the Avengers. No. You know, so yeah, he finished deal, building the Death Star, which is probably awesome. He was uh, doing more of the, his schoolwork, which is really yeah. cool. Well, he, I also got to remember he got grounded. Remember? Yes. He was grounded by... At May. Because, I mean... All that crap happened, and finally he's like, he's grounded because he's because he's been well. That's the thing; he's been skipping out on all his friends, all his, everybody in his life. Yeah, he's been just going off doing other things. So he had a, now he hangs with his friends, and of course he uh, gets a date. Yes. So that's where I never got a date in high school because I was too busy <laughs> saving the world. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was too busy saving the world. Oh, you too. Man, yeah. we probably met each other somewhere saving some I've, fight, some really yeah. evil villain. I Is remember that- some. We we met like the way that uh, Star Lord met Iron Man and uh, Doctor Strange in that scene. In, uh, exactly, we got in a fight too. I was in a fight like before we realized we needed the the, the band together. For the we band. <laughs> I knew that I knew that we did something in a past life. Superheroes. So we haven't talked about Aunt May enough in this movie. I, I want to um, first touch on when they first um, when they find out Peter is Spider Man, and then um, Aunt May messed up on that turkey meatloaf. They went to yeah, the Thai like restaurant. A, you, but here's the thing. Then you think it's weird because he walks in there and there's two guys standing there. And yeah. One doesn't have any clothes on. <laughs> yeah. But they're kids. I know. But it's just, he's just standing there without any clothes on. And she's like, uh, baby, put some clothes Please on. Put some clothes on. Of course, Ned wants to go eat with him. Yes. And he's I like, can't blame him. He you. got a thing like, yeah, he meant a thing. I got a thing later. Yeah. <laughs> After <Yeah>. dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I like that that Thai uh, waiter, right? He's like, oh, here's your sticky rice pudding. Like, oh, we need all the sticky Thai. Oh, it's on the house. And he did that yeah, little thing. Went, like, yeah, he went. <laughs> like, Why didn't he love you? <laughs> oh, that's he, nice. Because yeah, they're talking about larva. Yes. <laughs> I think he larvas you. He loves you, yes. Yeah. Plus, he used to ride either the correct eye of the wink on yes. like Rocket, you know? <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm using the wrong eye, huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Huh. Even Tony Stark in the beginning of the movie, hey, hey, Aunt May, how are you doing? What are you wearing? Something skimpy, I hope. No, we can't use yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that. Plus, you know the deep thing? Did you see that Tony Stark's t shirt? No, what was it? There's a kitten on it. Oh. A kitten on it. oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it's got that little kitten on it. Do you have a plastic cover over that? Oh, it's in the box still. Oh no no no! Do you have a plastic a cover inside there? Yeah, I never took it out of the box. Oh, but you don't have a like a protector over that box. Oh no! Oh, should I? Um, yeah, I I, I buy them. them. It's one of these. Oh, I don't need that. I'll t- I'll just take it out of the box and play with it. Later. Oh, I I I I have not taken out any of them of mine. I have the Doc Brown. I couldn't help it. Oh really? Hey, since you're talking about Doc Brown, uh, Target has the those toys. It looks like to me it's not as good as Hot Toys, oh, right? Yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, what are they? They're uh, seven inch. Yeah, that's seven inch. Yes. Yeah, because you yeah, can change are... the head and some of the hands. Yeah, but yeah. they don't cost a lot of Hot Toys either. So no, I mean, it's it's a lot cheaper. It looks cool though. It's way, that. way You can almost get the whole set for how much yes. one Hot Toys cost. Yes, and uh, the other Aunt May thing, um, when he go to the sandwich shop to pick up his dinner. He asked yes. him like, uh, "Oh, you know his uh, his aunt is a very hot Italian yeah, he woman." Said, was it was an Italian, right? <laughs> this, yeah, an Italian. Yeah, and of course he goes, uh, "What about your daughter?" <laughs> yeah, well, how, how's your daughter doing? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, because like, yeah, it's ten dollars. No, man, it's five dollars. I like that he's he he speaks Italian and he's really good at Spanish, like Spider Man. But then he's a smart kid. Peter Parker is oh, smart. Yeah, yeah. He's a smart kid. Plus, we forgot the scene where he goes. The first scene, major scene, where we see we see him with the suit. He fights the ATM. Oh, he fights the ATM Avengers. Yeah, all of, like the Avengers. And then they almost killed Del Mar, you know? Yes. Which is funny, when I watch that scene, you know what? I want a sandwich. 
<laughs> oh, I always want a sandwich, but I haven't eaten sandwiches yeah, lately. Man. I'm thinking, man, I bet if that place was real, I bet you there's sandwich. You know what? He talked about sandwiches to Aaron. He's like, oh, you know Del Mar's? They're like, yeah, it's the best uh, sandwich in Queens. Like, oh, I don't know if this other place is really good. Uh, they put too much bread. I like bread. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I love that. And they're just talking. They're just talking about sandwiches. Yeah, they go from from trying to find a, a criminal to uh, hey, let's talk about sandwiches. Yeah, talk about sandwiches. Yeah. You know that means it's a good sandwich, dude. Yes. I would love to have a sandwich from that place. Yes. You know it's probably good if it's real. Too bad it's not a real place, huh? It's probably not. It's not a real place. Man, I'm sure uh, Captain America used to stop there all the time. <laughs> I got beat up in this alley. I also got yeah. beat up in this alley. Oh, yeah, there's Del Mars. Let's stop in there and get a sandwich. It might be popular enough. I mean, like, you know, it's right across, like, there's a 21st Street uh, subway station there. So that place is easy to find. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's not real, though. So let's just go The corner this. is real. The place is not. The place is not. It's probably just a convenience store. I bet you it's a convenience. Well, Del Mar is a convenience store. Looks like yeah, Marvel was yeah, a convenience yeah. store. It's, it's a different that. convenience store. That's what I'm saying. It's not a sandwich yeah, shop. It's a, it's a good sandwich shop. Yes. Well, come on, you can probably get good sandwiches. I mean, because in Texas, what do you get at a convenience store? Burritos. Yes. So, um, I've been waiting for this to talk to you about this. Okay. So yeah. remember when um at, at the end, Liz had to move to Oregon. Yes. So she tells um Peter that like, oh, my dad doesn't want me, uh, me and my mom here when the trial starts, right? You know what Emilia had thought of? They might show that in No Way Home with Mur- Murdoch. Hmm. They might. Yeah. I'm just saying it's a possibility. Well, they, yeah, I mean, I see what you say. That's a good point. And also the other, let's just say they don't do that, right? Let's just say they don't bring Fulcher well, we back. We already know the him. trial already started because right. we already see him in, his, in, in prison. So the, the other thing I thought was, since at the end of No Way, I mean, I fall from home, right? Everybody knows Peter Parker is Spider-Man. They could do that thing where Charlie Cox dressed up as Spider-Man so Peter Parker can stand next to Spider-Man at the same time. Could. They could do that too. That would be awesome. Because, like, that's something I want to see in the comic books, but I think the comic books is um, Iron Fist does it. Oh, okay. Iron Fist dressed up as Spider-Man, and then Peter Parker is right next to Iron Man dressed up as Spider-Man. But I need... I want to see how they do this. Like, why is Charlie Cox in the movie? Uh, that's what I'm wondering. We don't know. Because I, now, because like so cause much like... Everybody's, everybody's speculating what the next movie is going to be. I'm like, don't <sighs> speculate because you, you may ruin it in the movie for yourself. Oh, I never... Well, for me, I never ruined it that way because like, it's every time yeah, like, you know, Disney has not disappointed... Marvel has not disappointed yeah. me at all. Yeah, I don't speculate about their stuff that much anymore. Yep. You know, I don't try to... Because I, I mean, it's I ruined so many movies trying to speculate... <laughs> I mean, and then you watch them, and it's like, oh, I, I would have done it better. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I don't think so. I did. I, not a Marvel movie. There's not a Marvel movie where I watch, except for Iron Man three, where I thought I could have done so it. So Iron Man three is the only one, huh? The only one where I thought they could have done it better. Not even like Thor, the Dark World, that you could have done it better. No, Iron I'm Man three. Happy. So which one is uh? So the worst movie in the MCU for you so far up to this point at Homecoming is Iron Man three. No, I'm not gonna say it's a word. It's hard to say because I, I mean I don't hate Iron Man three. I thought it had a lot of good stuff. To no, it. I'm not hating like, but like the I, I because think the, I, I would still watch Iron Man three before like several the, the first two Thor movies. Oh, okay. It has more to do with or I like Iron Man. I just like to see Iron Man stuff technology. I like to hear his quips, and the pace does move faster than the Iron Man the the Thor movies. Yes, that's why that's I'm not yeah I'm not saying oh. I'm not really even saying that Iron Man 3 is better than Thor. It's just, I could sit there and watch it and you can go do something else and uh-huh. be happy. You know, it, it doesn't seem like such a long movie for some of them. Does the Mandarin have a real name? He's not just called Mandarin, right? His name... I'm sure he really did. I'm sure it's in Chinese. It's probably like Chung Li or something. I oh, <laughs> that's make a name fighter like reference. Because <laughs> the tar- um, Target starts selling their toys. Oh, really? And his name is uh, like Wing Fu or something. Oh, maybe it is. I mean, I'm sure he had a real name. Because oh, I thought to... you would know. Like, I thought you would oh, know. Like, I, would, oh, I, would Jack know Napier. I would have to look it up. I don't know his name off the top of my head. Oh, okay. I mean, I know that he was a regular man that found these found this alien spaceship, and then he finds these rings, and the rings seem like they're magic, but actually it's just advanced technology. And each ring does something. You just blew my mind. Something. You he said he found a, a spaceship. But he also finds a dragon. Holy crap, what the... But it's not... We call it a dragon. It's supposed to be an alien species. Oh, okay. 
but it looks like a dragon from the old Chinese. It's called Fing Fang Foon. Oh, Fing Fang Foon. Okay. You should wow. know Fing Fang Foon. I, it's familiar. I mean, have you not looked at your Marvel trading cards? I don't have the first series. Oh. I don't have the complete first series. That's the only one I don't have. I thought That's it the... would have been in the second series. Is it not in the second? Fing, <sighs> Fang, I, I didn't see the second series. Character. I doubt we'll ever see him in a Marvel movie. Yeah. Why? Because he might be corny? <laughs> Well, he has a dragon, but dragons are popular, so... Dragons are popular. It's still very why popular. Why wouldn't have a dragon? And plus, it's supposed to be about Chinese people, so... Oh, I'm seeing this pardon, on the data. Pardon the uh, stereotype, but <laughs> I like dragons. I mean, come on. You know what? I, I have, think... I mean, English people have dragons, so why can't Chinese people? I think the only two movies I didn't see in the theaters as MCU is um, Thor, The Dark World, and Doctor Strange. Oh, and Ant-Man. I didn't see any of the Ant-Mans. Okay. So four, but from now on, right, we're gonna see every MCU movie in the theater. I can't see what I, I can't remember what I haven't seen. Oh, Captain Marvel. I didn't see the no, Captain Marvel. Oh, I saw Captain Marvel. I took my boys to see that. Oh really? I didn't yeah. see Captain Marvel in the theater. Yeah. And I didn't see Thor in the theater. I'm oh, sure I didn't see Thor. I saw Thor Ragnarok twice. I think I saw once. I can't remember who I saw. Where... Oh, I saw Ragnarok at the theater. Yeah, I saw Ragnarok at the theaters too. And I, mean, I, I made Heather come to see with me. Oh I no, I know. I missed Captain Marvel. I know, I know I didn't see that there. Yeah, I've seen that in the That's theater. the only one I can remember. It seemed like I, I missed another Marvel one, but I don't know what it would have been. It's not... Oh, you've seen Doctor I Strange in the theater? That. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. Well, I was... I was oh, uh, yeah. I wasn't going to miss that. Oh. Yeah. I remember when I saw it at the theater, I was the only one in the theater watching it, too. It was really? Awesome. Yes. Huh. Almost everything I've seen down here i've seen that theater by myself oh because it's not i guess it's not a popular thing where you live yeah, I, I, well, it depends on when you go I'll go out like after i get off work oh so it's Only late one, i just didn't get lucky during end game there's people in the theater i was like oh, crap. oh. there's like five people here <laughs> too many people for me come on because when i saw blade runner 2049 i had theater to myself it was Beautiful. Okay, so uh, let me ask you: When you say you have a theater to yourself, right? You know, you're from a small Texas town. How big are those theaters? How big are the houses? Oh, the theater is the same size as the one you're watching at the theater. Really? Yeah. But we know what? But the stadium seating, this I feel like new, it's smaller this is a, now. This is stadium, yeah. This is stadium seating. Big. I mean, it depends on the movie. But when I saw most of the Marvel movies, I saw it later, so I saw it in a smaller room. But it's still like what you. This is the same theater as you go to, Cinemark. Oh. It has the leather seats with the reclining. Reclining and heated seat. Seats. Oh, but the newer yeah. ones have heated seats yeah, now. Yes, the new ones. These are the new ones. And it probably has heated seat if you want it. But yeah. the problem is, if you go see it's the mall of Abilene or whatever, it's going to be awesome. It's not going to be that awesome. Oh, really? Well, they changed the seats. It's okay, but it's not going to be like the cinema. Oh, okay. It's not going to be like the stuff you see where you're at. Oh. You know? But yeah, but I saw when I saw Blade Runner, I saw it early enough. And a lot of people just weren't into it. And no. they probably went, most people probably go see it at night. A lot of people don't like Blade Runner. I, I, I don't know well, why. Most people don't get Blade Runner. Now, it's not my fault that most of this population on the earth is not that smart to get Blade Runner. <laughs> but, like I said, I saw it in the, the biggest theater. So, they'll let you pick your seats. But the ladies, the girl, even the girl said, if there's nobody in there, you can pretty much sit wherever you want. Oh, so oh yeah, that's why you're supposed to pick your seats. That's right, yeah. So I went in there and I sat right in the center of the stadium seating. Like Sheldon Cooper. <laughs> I got my seat back and enjoyed my movie. <laughs> That's lucky. I wish, but, yeah. But, it, but it's the thing, like here, I mean, there's not the population of the biggest city is not that big. Because, like I, I tell a lot of people, my best movie, one of the best movies I ever saw, is only because of the feeling I got. Scream 2. I saw oh. it in the theater and I was by myself. Wow. And it's just in the theater was and that's the thing because you know you sit in the theater and the screen two and you know I don't know if everybody's seen screen two. I screen seen two, screen two in the theater. Screen two starts off with a murder in the theater. Yes. So I'm sitting there and I'm watching it and I'm by myself and I watch these people get murdered in the theater. And then you can hear the air conditioner come on. Oh. And I thought to myself, if somebody runs in here in a ghost mask, I am going to crap all over. <laughs> <laughs> I will probably die. I know, I think of it like, I've seen all the Scream 1 to 4 in the theater. I didn't because, see the first one. I, well, because I feel like a, a, a movie like that, right, you need to see it in the theater. You Actually, yeah. you're right. Yeah. I saw the last two in the theater. No, yeah. actually, I just saw the second one in the theater. I missed the third one. Yeah, the third one I has Jay and Silent Bob. No, Scream 4 has Jay and Silent Bob. I wish I would have saw all of them in the theater. Yeah. 
Jay, uh, yeah, Scream 4 has Jay and Simon Bob. Is it the third or the fourth one? It has Jay and Simon Bob in it. It had to be the fourth one because I don't... They're, no, you're right. It's the third one. The third one, yes. Because remember, they go to Hollywood. Like, yes. The third one. Yes. We may have to do these movies now. Scream, yeah, it's, it's good. I, I like it. Scream. Enjoyable. It's, only, it's the only horror movie I really like because the rest of them was like, eh. This one has enough references, movie references, pop culture Is references. it horror or thriller movie? I guess it's a thrill. I think it was horror. It it's was horror, yeah. Because the, the rules are all horror. Movies. Yes, it's horror. Yes, I'm sorry. I apologize. I wasn't, ever, I wasn't ever a horror movie watcher, you know? No. Um, I mean, you never then, watched Nightmare on Elm Street. No, I didn't. And then, I mean, I think I watched one and I just didn't care. I think I watched the Jason movie and I sat there and I was like, <laughs> I watched The Exorcist and I was like, <laughs> This is funny because it's the special effects are so stupid. <laughs> I mean, I watched the ring. I remember when I watched the ring. The ring, I got the ring. I can't remember when I got the ring. I think I got it in September. Yeah. And I held that movie all the way till Halloween night, you know? And I got I went and got my food, got my pizzas and stuff. First I waited till it got dark outside. And when it got dark outside, I put the movie in. So um, and guess what? Yeah. It wasn't scary at all. So it's funny you said that, right? Because, you know, it's, it's a Japanese remake. So me and Cody yeah. and my sister watch all the uh, Japanese ones, right? And then we watch the American one. We watched the first one in the theater, okay? So I remember this scene very specifically. You know when she pops out the television? Yeah. So this dude was just walking back to his seat, right? But then that scene was so intense. So he was stood, standing right here. He's like, oh, he's watching the movie. So when that, that creepy-ass girl popped, he jumped back. Dude, it was crazy because he wasn't because I wasn't expecting that right because it's different from the Japanese one that that scene he should just appear. Dude, this dude jumped back. He almost hurt himself falling down the stairs. Wow. Yeah. So I was like, okay, so he's you know he's that kind of guy that jumps at stuff, you know. I, I thought it was so cool. Now, how do we get from there from Spider-Man? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we took a long walk away from Spider-Man. We still got a lot to go. <laughs> Let's jump back to. Let's go ahead and jump to the end of Spider Man. Since we've been jumping all over the movie, anyways, mm-hmm. I mean, I want to jump to the scene where uh, they take him to start uh, meant to the Avengers complex. Yes, and he's going to join the Avengers. But before then, we talk about that, did you want to talk about the fight scene between them? It feels like Spider Man never had the upper hand at all. In what between Vulture? Yeah, because they did the plane crash, right? And then after yeah. that, Vulture has still had the advantage. Actually, oh, Vulture had the advantage the whole time. Yeah, because well, because Spider Man didn't have his good suit. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Spider Man never has a good suit when he goes against. Well, hey, actually, he did because he got dropped in the water. Yep. So this was the only time he didn't have the good suit. Well, the but you know, he the is powerful, power. right? But then Spider Man has superpowers. Yeah, he's stronger. He could. Pow- he just probably didn't know he could overpower him easily. Well, now that he knows who he is. Yeah. I think it it kind of held back to him. Plus. I mean, I guess the way the suit looks. I mean, because some of the suits pretty throws you off. The, the green eyes and everything. Yeah. Because he's like, I mean, he's already got this idea of this guy's just some kind of super villain with a lair and everything. <laughs> but now, no, now. I forgot to talk about the lair. <laughs> Yeah, remember the lair? He's like, hey, he's got to have a lair. But he's talking to Karen, like, he's probably, like, he's probably going to his evil lair. <laughs> yeah, but, but here's the thing now. After that, he realizes this guy, he's just a regular guy now. Yeah. He's Liz, but he's like Liz's dad. Yeah. So I mean, come on, you're fighting somebody you know all of a sudden. But again, I mean, but he does. He he finally beats him, but he only beats him because the vulture. I mean, he beats the vulture because the, the plane crash and stuff. I mean, he barely beats the vulture in a way. No, he barely because he he, he got those he help from the that stuff that blew powerful, up. But he is more help. He is more powerful than the vulture. Yes. I mean, yeah, I get what you're saying, but I mean, I like the way it ended. Oh, I did. Because he, he saves him. I mean, it wasn't a huge fight scene. No. And it didn't really need to be. Like, every time it's not a huge fight scene in these MCU yeah. movies. I don't remember. Yeah, because I didn't get out there and go, oh, I wish the fight scene would have been longer. No, I didn't I either. Because I, I was always that. satisfied the whole time. This was evenly paced correctly. Yes. In the end of property. Because, I mean, you know, lucky, uh, uh, Happy finds, finds the vulture tied up. And then there's another note from Spider-Man. Hey, sorry about yeah. your plane. The the yeah. bird guy, yeah. the fly man. Yeah, fly man yeah, trying yeah. to steal this. Sorry about your plane. Yeah, I mean, the, the, I mean, but you are right. Yeah, in a way, the vulture seemed like he had an upper hand. Yes. But I mean, he was an older, older He's a guy. grown man, yeah. He's a kid yeah, he, fighting he a grown man. 
because I mean, even like I mean, like Spider Man started off like, yeah, I I took out Captain America, and of course, you remember Tony's like he pulled his punches. He would yeah. lay you. Out. If he would lay you, he would have laid you down. Yes. So, but then we get to the scene where they take him to Avengers. The Avengers, yeah. Because I. Second. So how many Avengers are there right now? <laughs> okay, so let's point that out. So we he um Tony took Peter to yeah. announce to the media that they, they found another Avenger. Oh, but yes. they it was just some they big announcement. But I was counting to what Heather too. So they have Iron Man, they have Rhodey, Vision, and Spider-Man. Yep. Just four of them. There's nobody else. There's nobody else. And Vision's eventually going to leave if Vision's not already going in and out of the building anyways yeah. to go see his girlfriend who's on the run. Yep. So... Four Avengers. Woo-hoo. Four. Actually, just three before because uh, Peter didn't go through with it. He thought it was a test. Yeah, it was. Just, he thought it was a test. Yeah. The funny thing is, Happy's glad he didn't join. Yes, because he was telling Tony that, like, you know, I told you he was a good kid. Yeah. Yeah, it's because he 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 needs to grow up. Yeah. To go back and grow up. I mean, because come on, there's plenty of time to be an Avenger. Yes. Or join the Fantastic Four. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm just saying because in Spider Man, he's a member of the Fantastic Four. Yes. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, the new Fantastic Four, I know, is Ghost Rider, Wolverine, Hulk, and Spider Man. No, he's actually an alternate. He's in the old comic books. The first, when the first introductions of Spider Man. Oh, when he when, met no, Johnny. Like, yeah. He yeah, one Torch. of the early inductions in the 60s. Oh, he's, you're talking about the 60s. Okay. Yeah, he's been in. He's he's all in a lot of Fantastic Four comic books. Yeah. Plus, yeah, yeah. he was an alternate member. If something happens to him, he joins. Yes. But yeah, you are right. He is part of that the the, the new Fantastic. Yes, yeah, I'm so glad you know he's such a nerd. I had that. Con- well, come on. If it had Wolverine in it yes. in the nineties, I bought it's it. Wolverine. I mean, the only reason, I, the only way you get and Ghost Rider, book, and Ghost Rider. Yeah. yeah. Ghost Rider. I didn't read that many Ghost Rider comic books. I didn't either. I, I mean, I bought some of them, but Ghost Rider comic books weren't that great. I mean, I got Hearts of Darkness and all that, you know. With, but that's because he teams up with Wolverine again. Yeah. Like I said, if it had Wolverine in it, the only reason I almost said Spider Man is because it had Wolverine in it. Yeah. Or you know, Hulk in it, Hulk. Because of Wolverine in it, yep. I didn't really like the X, was it X4? No, New Mutants. I had, I started with New Mutants, but I didn't like New Mutants. But I had to buy New Mutants because it had Wolverine versus Cable. So I got it. Oh, that's right. Because, yeah, New Mutants would not be the comic, I don't think. It Dude, it was, it I think. I think the Comic. movie is available for streaming somewhere. The oh, new movies, yeah. Well, okay, man. It's Fox. I don't care. <laughs> it was Fox, but they never distributed when they were still Fox. Oh, well, they, Disney well, distributed yeah, after. Uh, it's yeah. It is still. It's not. A, it's not Marvel MCU. So. <sighs> okay. Oh, I'm not interested. I mean, yes. I may watch it. I'm not gonna go out and see it because it's like a what was it? The last Wolverine movie. Logan. Yeah. I wasn't impressed. You're not impressed? I liked it. Oh, everybody keeps telling me, everybody I meet keeps telling me it's good, but I saw it. It's not. I liked it better than the... Um... You're watching two different movies, because... Uh, I liked I it better... Like... I, I the... There's only three Wolverine movies, right? Wolverine Origins, The Wolverine, and Logan. There's yep. not another one. I'm not missing one. You're not missing one. Okay. I think that's the best one out of these three. No, the second one's the best one. I don't know. Japan? Yeah, I'm not so... Yeah, that was the best one. That one's okay. Because of Japan. That one, oh, come on. That was just like the comic book. That one is like the comic book, yes. Yep. So, Super, Silver Samurai. I'm surprised you didn't read Old Man Logan. Have you read Old Man Logan? No. I read I, it. I, I, I kind of got away from a lot of that. You know, when the origin came out? When the origin came out in, in the comic book form? Yeah. I pretty much quit reading. Oh, okay. Well, because, okay, the Wolverine comic book for the longest time was a mystery. Every issue was different. It was like one day it was uh, Sabretooth was his dad. The next issue, oh, he's remembered stuff. It's his partner. Oh, oh his brother. Married to this uh, Silver Fox. He's, it was it was good. You know, it's like, oh, man, it was such a good story. It kept you, I had to, I had to have the next issue. By the time it got to Origins, they went and told a whole completely story. I'm like, well, it's not a mystery now. Why am I reading this crap? Oh, no. So the way that you describe it to me, it feels like Wolverine. Like they just tell you snippets of timeline. Yes, because he couldn't remember anything, and you know, Professor X Xavier kept trying to help him remember it. And then he had kind of a love and interest with uh, Jean Grey. Yes, 
it was one of my favorite X Men because she's trying to help him remember it. So, I mean, so the kid's pulling out parts, and then it finds out that some of the memories were implanted in his head. Yeah. So you know, and that's and the, some of the, the the implanted memories were awesome stories on the, in themselves. So you're sitting there trying to figure, you're figuring it, trying to figure it out. So that's what made him so interesting. Mm. Cause you didn't know his past. And then when, when origins come out, it's like, so this is it. This origin sucks. <laughs> you talking about like, films, but you talk about comic to... book origins. Or... Yes, I want to talk to about the comic book. Okay. Uh, Cause the movie, I didn't care about the movies because they still weren't as good as a comic book. I mean, because the origins already came out, and it was like, well, now I know his story, so I, he, I lost a lot of uh, I'm like, I don't care about Wolverine that much anymore. Hmm. I mean, it's a cool character, but the, the whole reason of getting each issue of the comic book was to figure out his origin. But when they just went ahead and showed you the origin, and the origin had nothing to do with anything you already saw. So I'm going to use that to bring that back to Spider-Man, because like that what um, I think I might have the, I might still have the issue where um, Peter Parker's parents came back. Because it was a mystery. Yeah, right? it was, well, his parents were supposed to die. Yes. And it turned out they were spies. Yes, yeah, that's so like When I thought that, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. But then with the story, I was like, this is kind of lame. Yeah, but that was the, wasn't that in the 80s when they came back? I think it was the 80s. Uh, early 90s. Cause I, early I, 90s. Yeah. Okay, it was early 90s. Yeah, I remember that. But it, and then it got worse. I mean, they were running out of stories to tell. Yeah, it's they're trying to hold on to it. That's why I think they, maybe yeah. that's what I mean, the first time they were in issue. Brentwood. And they still had some good issues, yeah. Yes. But... That was, I mean, like that's my, that's why I don't like some of that stuff. But anyhow, all right. Since we talk about old issues, right? We need to talk about all the awesome Captain America PSA videos in the school. Yeah, well, if you if you don't watch the extras, you don't see them. Oh, I seen the there's extras. One more extra because there's only one extra because you watch the whole Spider-Man movie and at the very end. Yes. Captain America tells you about what's it about disappointment. Yes, <laughs> the, the disappointment. Like, how, how many of these do we have to shoot? <laughs> yeah, he goes. Well, you waited this whole time. And then it turns out that uh, what you waited for is not really what you wanted to see. Yes. Something like that. Because, oh, yeah, and then, of course, he's like, how many more of these do we got to shoot? Oh, I know. That's so great. And this is cool because if you think about it, there's two Avengers in this movie. Yes. Iron Man and, and Captain, Captain America. America. You got two Avengers in this movie. But Captain America is wearing the uh, O suit before yeah. the World War One one. Well, I'm sure he put the suit on the film. I mean, thing. World War Two. Yeah, yeah, but but he did put the suit on because remember he wore the suit while he was an Avenger too. Yes, so I'm sure he did those while he was an Avenger. I love the Battle of New York. I love those videos. It's like they just play for the school yeah. <laughs> the kids. And the other cut scene, well, of course, what was the other cut? The other cut scene was just uh, Vulture in prison, right? Yeah, Vulture in prison. Where when in he walks prison up past the scorpion. Yeah, the scorpion comes up and says, "Hey, I got a." I've heard that you know who this guy is. Yep. Of course, he's like, well, he didn't kidding. blame him for the scars on his face yeah, because, told, well, yeah, he told he didn't blame him because he wants to know who this guy is. Yep, Spider Man. He wants to kill him. He have him killed. Of course, he, he, he also knows. make a point like you know he have a lot of friends on the outside that would like to get this guy. Yeah, and of course, Vulture doesn't tell him who it is. And like you said, I don't. I think the vultures, the vulture may want to get even with him, but I don't think the vulture wants to see him get killed. No, and the other thing is like only uh, the vulture got captured. The shocker. And Mason, yeah, sure. yeah, they got away. They got away. So, yeah, they, 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 they could be in another story. I doubt they will. But I mean, come on, it's for other adventures. They can always put comic books because they always put those pre, those pre, pre, preludes and stuff out. So yeah, it could it could appear in the comic book. You can get the MCU in in some comic book pages. So we'll see. So we we are uh, we gone through this whole thing right without talking about Stanley. Yes. Do you remember well, Stanley's yeah. cameo? Oh, Stanley. Hey, don't you remember me come down there? <laughs> and then that lady, brought, of course, that lady calls him George. Hey, George. Hey, how are you me. doing? Like, I'm doing hey, good, Martha. Hey, how are you? Yes, your mother. <laughs> oh, it's like they they find a, a cute and fun way every time for Stanley to show up. Yeah. But I'm like, don't you make me come down there? Yep. He, you know, because he when he wed that guy's the guy's hand to the car, he goes, "This, this is my car." Yeah, because he, he in the beginning, before he did that thing, he looked inside like, "Oh, my keys are still in there." Like that kind yeah. of look, you know. <laughs> and then of course, of course, he's like, and then the guy goes, "Hey, that's his car, not your car." Yeah, not your car. Like, <laughs> I didn't and know it was his car. I'm trying to sleep up here. <laughs> 
Oh, so, this, this movie is so great, Shane. I just, I, I was good. about to say something about Song Li, and I held myself. Well, okay, because this movie was good. I mean, this is one of the best MCU movies. It is. And thank you, we almost didn't get it. And you know what's really funny? Like, right after this, right? Anything, everything that's after this, you might not agree, but like, it's Thor Ragnarok. It's Black Panther. Yeah. And uh, Ant-Man and the Wasps. Well, Ant-Man and the Wasps is after um, Infinity this is, War. This is one of the best phases, too. I mean, yes. I mean, everything there's in, everything 13 in it movies in this awesome. one. Everything in it was awesome. I mean, every one of the movies almost ups the next movie. Yes. From here yeah, on out. Yeah, because, you know, you see one and you're like, oh, this one's so good. This is the best. And then you see the next one. Oh, this one this is so good. This is the best. And then you go next. Oh, this one's even better. I mean, and then after you watch them, you know, you can finally start to put them in order what you like the most. Yes. But it's just, there's so much going on, so much surprises. It's just everyone, in a way, after, especially if you watch the theater, you walk out thinking it's better than the last one you saw. Yes. You know? It is. It's... And then it's so quick because we know that there's another Spider-Man movie coming too. There's another Spider-Man movie, which would seem like we're not—we almost weren't going to get. Remember? Yes. Because the, the, the little spat between Disney and Sony. Yep. But thank goodness we got it. Yes. And we're going to get another one. And again, another one. No, no way home. Yeah. But hey, I hope I hope they don't end it right there. So I want to talk about the title. The last thing we should talk about is the title, Homecoming. So to you, you feel like it's finally going back to Disney. That's the yeah, Homecoming. Because it's Spider-Man coming back to his. His Marvel roots. Oh, um, what do you think? There's always it wasn't none of the other Spider Mans were always outside of the Marvel deal. It had Marvel's name on it, but no Marvel people were working on that. Hmm. But now it's back because it's it's home because it basically he's coming into the MCU. Yes, where it's home because I mean that's Spider that is actually Spider Man's universe, and that's not the so dance actually inside coming back a movie. Into his universe. Yeah, yeah. So I mean they did have a Homecoming, but yeah. Well, they had the dance, they had the prom, but... I think it's just a homecoming dance, right? Not the prom. I thought it was the prom. Oh, maybe it was a homecoming No, dance. homecoming is the, in the beginning of the school year. Yes. Yeah. I guess you're right. It was a homecoming dance, was it? I don't know why I thought it was a prom. Because yeah. it seemed like a prom. Yeah, it's still a homecoming dance. It is homecoming. All right. So but it just works well. But no, I like the uh, the double meaning. Homecoming's coming back to the MCU. Yeah, he came back to the MCU. The, the right home, not Sony. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't in, in some some Sony made Spider Man universe. Yeah, he's not in the Spider Verse now. He is in the Marvel Verse. Yes, Marvel Verse. But that's yeah, what Sony is trying to call that thing, the Marvel Verse, like Sony's Entertainment's Marvel Universe or something. But they can't call it the Marvel Verse because all they got is Spider Man stories. Yeah, but the Spider Man rises enough to create their own thing. I mean, look, look they already make Venom. They they already have Mo- Mobius. Morbius. The, Morbius. Morbius. Yeah, I keep saying Morbius. I'm sorry. Morbius. And then now they're going to have Craven the Hunter. And then they, yeah. uh, Carnage is coming out this year. Yeah, so but that's so they got their own little Spider Verse. But that's not a Marvel Verse. And Marvel-verse, then they have the Into the Spider Verse. Exactly. But that's, like I said, that's the Spider Verse. Oh. I mean, it's like they're missing a big chunk of Marvel out of it. They are. I mean, like the Venom stuff is not tied in so far with. um. Morbius yeah. and well, I don't know yeah. yet. Well, I'm, I'm, we're thinking Morbius is tied in. It looks like it is. The only reason we think it is, or I, the only reason I think it is, is because we see the, uh, the vulture. Well, Venom? No, I'm talking about Venom. Oh, we're talking about Venom. Okay. Oh, I was I talking like Venom is not. I, I don't know if Venom is tied in with Morbius. Okay, well, eventually it may be, but I haven't seen it, so it's not tied in yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I see it. I can't even be tied in. Well, next week, well, next one, we're going to do Dol Ragnarok, right? And I can't wait because I love that freaking movie. Oh, yeah. Dol Ragnarok. And it has one of our favorite actors in it, too, Kyle Urban. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll stay tuned to the next one. Yeah, Fred. So I'm going to end it right here. And we're out until next week. Cool. Thank you for watching this segment of our review. I hope you had a great time listening to us. Be sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.